See. Shit all over so, my shirt. <laughs> now everyone heard that. <laughs> Good afternoon, Vietnam. Good morning. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? It is checking is in. Up? Family is back in the house. Yes. Uh, we're going to do some arguing today. I'm Ooh. just going to talk like this the whole podcast. The How whole do you pod- feel? I yeah, like I have it. actually a good note voice. That's too, a good right? radio voice, huh? Kind of, yeah. Coming to you live from Utica, Michigan. Brian Barczyk. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> that should it's be our bad. bumper. That should be our bumper. Yeah, it is cool. That's one. Th- that's one thing I want to like. I'm trying to get down Barack Obama's voice. Oh, that was a good one right there. But I can't like you got a lot of pauses. Yeah, it's a lot, lot of pauses. weird pauses too. Yeah, yeah he's like, unconventional. Yeah, it's, I, he's a very good order. I'm not gonna very good order. Even test it right now because it's not ready for. You know, saying prime time, people. Yeah, yeah, prime yeah, time. Yeah, it's not right. <laughs> he's he's a day. very good order. I always said whether you agreed or disagreed with Obama, which we, he was a very polarizing person. That I think we can all agree. I would like even if I disagreed with something. When I watched him talk, mm-hmm. I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, Obama! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in. Let's and, hang yeah, out. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got I mean, he's he's got it. You he's know? got the same thing as Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. And no, not that they're black. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's the way they speak. It is just coincidence. It though. is a coincidence. Yeah. They um. They both follow the same rules of order. I, I read this in both their fucking books. It's crazy. Mm. that they, they try to get their thought out in less than 90 seconds. Really? So, like, even when wow. Neil deGrasse Tyson is, like, trying to explain the Big Bang and stuff, yeah. if he can't get it in, like, a few sentences, he doesn't, he won't he he do it anymore. Do it. Oh, and it's an evolution that he's learned over time. Yeah, that's, and, that's actually good. And the reason yeah. why he did this. I got to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the reason why he did this, you really do because it, yeah. this will help you. No, 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 this is not a bash. This no, is not I a bash. Know. This Man. is truthful. Listen, yes. this is why. is because uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson in particular and Obama, I read it in his book too, he, they both agreed that um, it's the best for a clip, okay? Yeah. So uh, when a, the radio host has you on, they want clips. Sound sure. bites, yeah. Sound, sound bites, bites, a great yeah. word yeah. for yeah. it. Great word for it. Because yeah, that's the word. Because uh, yes, that's, that's the word. That's the word. Bird is the word. The uh, <laughs> yes. It's you, so you understand. I they, do understand. They have to see. Get I'm the, the opposite. Thing, like oh, when I'm clip. explaining, like how to open up a, a thing, it's like 25 minutes. Yeah, we know. It's like yeah. so. Yeah. Then you take the bottle. Yeah. See, I think now if it's warm, it's if it's warm, it's not as good as. It's cool. But I also think it's good for just people's attention span. Mm. Yeah. Because Same a lot of times, world. yeah, a lot of times. I mean, I, I know I'm the worst with that too. If I'm telling a story, I get too too. Too detailed with it. Yeah. And it, yeah. I like that. I normally whole, don't. Like, Shorten it. Oh, and then the, the the bird was yellow, but it wasn't a brown yellow. It was a green yellow, <laughs> yeah. and you're just like, why are you going into that detail? Yeah. <laughs> yellow. You need yeah. to know. <laughs> but because yeah. I'm living it in my head, and like I want to make it sure. It is interesting. Everybody's... Isn't it interesting how TikTok has changed? Like probably the the whole future oh, of, yeah. of so. the world. I, as far as that that like fast, pay, I realize that was pre Obama and and Tyson and stuff like that. They were already doing that. Oh, yeah, but I'm just saying thing. that like super quick, fast pace. I had mentioned you know I don't know Jay if you've seen that show. I've talked about it's called uh, 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 Ren Reno No Demo. No, I haven't seen it yet. But so I heard it's an about Instagrammer it, yeah. that is doing renovations on HDTV. Okay. Uh, uh, FHDTV, by the way, but that's a whole other topic. But uh, no, and, and and she's it's so it's that's the future of television. I'm telling you because it is like it's almost like a YouTube video that's 30 minutes long. Well, it's probably like 23 minutes with commercials. You know what I mean? But but it's like super quick. Okay. Like what a normal renovation show would take an hour, they uh-huh. do in 23 minutes. And she Smart. definitely has more like that high energy. Like, uh, high like energy, I, yeah. I like the show, but she irritates me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see how it would irritate Lori. I like that, <laughs> that style. Exactly. He, that's, I know he's like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, like I don't hate her, well, but I don't like Everything she her. says is like <laughs> almost a punchline. Like yeah. everything, like that's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, like yeah. it? It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, instead of being like you know, like explaining like normal Helm shows, it's yeah. like everything is a is a soundbite. Yeah, and yeah. I don't like the I don't like normal home shows because there's too much yeah. dead air. Sometimes yeah. they'll just like be in the empty room and they'll be like, "This room is boring." Like they're just like, yeah. "We'll just waste my time." If you, you watch it, it, even <laughs> if you don't <laughs> like, the, even if you don't like the show, I think you will appreciate the production value yeah. and, and the fact. And they even have like the the kind of Mr. Beast where they you know like, you know like little okay. things pop up and stuff like that. Yeah. Something you don't normally see on TV. Yeah. So I I recommend Reno No Demo. 
What is that on? It's on HGTV. Okay. The company that turned us down. <laughs> the bastards. Listen, not that I'm, not that I'm mad all, at them or anything. Brian, not that I'm bitter. Brian, they all have. Yeah. Yeah, so we haven't turned down by every network. <laughs> exactly. So, like, at some point you in the last exactly. twelve years, every network has <laughs> really made TV's me feel dying. bad. It's yeah. good because it's not meant to be. And, and I'm okay. telling you what, you don't tell it's me okay. that if we no, did this tell. renovation, you don't, tell me. You don't <laughs> tell me nothing. I know what <laughs> if we're doing. Yeah. If if we go through with this renovation that we're having drawn up right now, you can't tell me that wouldn't be a banger ass show. A banger. You know, not it only with the end. renovation part, but we then the, me and Lori are going to be, I mean, literally in fisticuffs before it's over. You know, she's going to be like <laughs> she's gonna be threatening divorce. She's like, I got a new house. I can move out <laughs> any right day, now. Any day. Goodbye. <laughs> See you. I'm at the lake. <laughs> I'm at the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's coming. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm happy it didn't work out. It would no, be I, I, crazy. No, don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy too because it would take the dis- now we make all the decisions. Yeah. You know. Speaking it of which, just would be got annoying. A ramp too. You got a handicap ramp? <laughs> yeah, it's put in there right yeah, now. Just, Wait, that's, right now? Yeah, it's put in it right in now. Today. Yeah. That's cool. Congratulations. That's good. Yeah, I know. I'm, because I'm I felt good. bad like I would have to drag them by their feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. We had a portable one. No. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes their head would hit the ground yeah, hard, really hard. Yeah, like dunk, yeah, like dunk, dunk, as you're dragging their feet. Yeah, and then yeah. we take the souvenir photo and it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, all yeah, bleeding everywhere. Yeah. Out. It's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. We but had, thank God yeah. we have the ramp now, so we don't have to worry about <laughs> thank it anymore. Goodness. But thank what goodness. we were talking about, the HDTV, yeah. it would suck because... For me, I like my alone time, and yeah. I can only imagine <laughs> with a TV crew, there's probably a camera on you or near you 24-7, 365. Well, not really 24-7. I mean, you know, they, they work they work maybe 10, 12-hour nice days, and then the rest yeah. of the, But that 10 we or 12 hours, you would, hours. Right, exactly. So that is leaving you yeah. three hours. Like. No, no, I agree. I mean, when I've shot television, it's like usually about 12 hours that you know, six days a week, they take one day off. So six days a week, you've got 12 hours of a film crew. And I remember Ton Jones, our friends that was on, uh, uh, Ton Jones that was on Spike TV. Um, You know, he had very successful, the most successful show on uh, Spike TV for like seven seasons. Fun fact, he has some of the sharpest knives in the world. Really? Don't you remember his knife tricks? I do remember his knife tricks, yeah. He would just cut, he would go like this, whoosh, and cut a water yeah. bottle in half. Yeah, no, he still he still loves knives and guns. Now he's not on TV anymore. But anyways, he told me when I was just before I was shooting the Discovery Show. Yeah, he said the only advice he gave me is he said if you say something you don't want to be on the show, pull out your packer immediately. Okay. That's a sm- <laughs> that's really good. Like, he advice. said that's the yeah. only way they won't use it. Did he do that? He said he would drop his pants all the time. <laughs> he said every time he said something like oh shit they're gonna put that he would drop his pants. <laughs> So that way that's, they can't put it in. That's can't put it in the show. Because as an editor, I have this tool called a cut. Okay? <laughs> and so basically, yeah. after what you say, I can just cut out the dick out. I can yeah, cut yeah, the dick out yeah. and leave what the words Well, in. I think if you did it simultaneously, though, maybe. I don't know. I just, I'm just telling him what he's told me. I don't know if it's a lie or I not. Think yeah, that I, was think, more... I think he was trying to get, get you. you. <laughs> right. To reveal when, yourself. When, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you got signed, they'd be like, what the hell is this guy's well, What's wrong with Brian? He, he keeps showing me his cock. Yeah, it's weird. When I was in Australia, half the time I was naked. I don't know what... I don't know and what he wondered wrong. why their part got cut to nothing. Yeah, damn. Yeah, there was true. so much good stuff, but I was naked through most of it, unfortunately. That makes sense. Yeah, that's no, he was just messing with you. Does. I don't know if he was. But he I was. Think, yeah, because maybe. You get, especially in this day and age, you get me too so fast. Just so uh, fast. Maybe not me too per se. That might have been the wrong term. Like canceled or anything, and deservedly <laughs> so. Deservedly so because really? if you're showing, you're yes, dropping trout. Do you know how many people are in a cast? Like I mean, not even talking about the actors. I'm talking about like the filmers and the boom mic and the then the, there's different females. There's different. There could well, even not, be a yeah, transgender. Yeah. There you know what be. I mean? And that's fine. But what I'm saying is <laughs> is when you pull out your pants, I just want to include everybody. Yeah, yeah, talking. you're including. No, when, yeah. you, when you pull down your pants and you're showing your pecker to people, you know, they could be they could Wasn't be scarred. People. There's a lot of people that could be offended. Crew. To the yes. film crew, but behind the film or behind the film camera is a people. Yeah, exactly. but look at Naked and Frayed. I mean, they they got they they, they well, there's, show a, out listen, there's a it's, guy that literally is, just is there to blur out the junk. It that's is all he does. His that's, job. His, that's his job. He knows what that's he's signing up for. Though. Like it's he literally different. signed Never up for that job. That. I would assume that anyone that he's signs up to work on a Discovery or a HGTV or whatever called show, Naked they're, and they're, Afraid, they're, knows they're probably they're gonna thinking they're going to see some butthole. 
Why? On you're, any HDTV? You're <laughs> renovating <laughs> not homes. HDTV. You're renovating homes. <laughs> <laughs> not I mean, holes. I'm saying yeah. Discovery yeah, Channel. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, Discovery he's, Channel. He's, he's going to the stigma with the <laughs> Oh, there's definitely crack. stigma. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, my, my ass crack was hanging out this weekend. Though, I know man, it was. Yeah. Every time I came he's around pants. the corner. I know. Pants. I don't like these And pants. no underwear. I'm like, what is going on? No, I got underwear. The underwear was just slipping down. Pull them up. out, man. The pants pull my underwear down, too. It was like he wanted us to see his crack. A lot. Like, every time I turned the corner, I was like, "Cheese, <laughs> Mary and Joseph." I hate those pants, man. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just get a belt. I got a belt. Yeah, oh he needs my a god, better belt. Yeah, what? it's not doing it. Wait a minute, that's a great. No, what Uncle I was gonna Bill, say, you're going to turn into Uncle Bill. You need suspenders, suspenders are good, but I like the idea of what you just said. Uh, we just have a new company right here, Better Belt. Uh, That's a belt. fucking Ooh. ringer. Ooh, betterbelt.com. Yeah. Doesn't that sound good? Shh, don't don't let anyone buy that one right I, now. It's like <laughs> right up there with Dollar Shave Club and stuff. Better yeah, Belt. Or My Pillow. Yeah, That's yeah. actually a good one. If you, if you could design something to keep my ass cracking, yeah. you'd be you it's would extended. there. Ass cracking. <laughs> ass cracking. That's one of the products from, from Better Belt. Yeah. The ass cracking. The ass cracking. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, uh, gosh. You know, the Kraken. Do like you remember, did about. you guys ever see, Lori, I'm sure you remember, we did an animal bite skit once for, with, during snake bites days mm -hmm. where I, I, everything was, this is so fun. This is why Back I Back when we were educational, This is right? just what I think the people say that we used to be educational. <laughs> I knew and it. I think of like the skits that we used oh, to do. We were. I don't know what kind of, it wasn't a good education. No, so, no, so the skit terrible. was everything, you could fix anything with, with, uh, cheese whiz oh. you know, the, the spray yeah. okay and, and so like you know like the rack was stuck so we put put some cheese whiz on it and then it was like real smooth. i actually remember this and then yeah, at yeah. one point uh one of the crew was was down and his ass crack was out and i filled his ass crack with cheese whiz. yeah yeah, yeah that, that's a true story that's, that's good shit. that's on the internet forever yeah. Yeah. forever forever yeah but we used to be educational back then yeah nowadays we're just slipping. now we're not educational at all well you know this is not to go off on a rant or something like that but yeah, do it why do people think that we have to be educational. Is there, is there anything on, uh, did we ever say our YouTube channel is no. going to be nothing but education? No. Not at all. So why do people go like, I, well, I don't like you because you're not educational. Well, well, well why? that's fine. I didn't sign up to be an educational Right. Show. You know, but, but it's always, it's always the caveat of, well, you used to be educational. Well, number one, we never <laughs> were. At, I mean, we're always educational, yes. but that's never, we're an edutainment. We're not yeah. educate, yeah. you know. Because even, even in the snake bites days. Oh, like, they were so bad. They were bad, but sometimes you would learn stuff. A morsel. Because you would talk maybe about breading Definitely. or this or stuff oh, like sure, that. Oh, sure, yeah. But there was more just. There was shenanigans all, there and was, terrible. It, those you know, were like stuff. six, seven minute videos. Yeah. And I would say three minutes were, were like, like debauchery, you know, debauchery. <laughs> oh, yes. And three minutes of like maybe a little education. Right. Uh -huh. You know, but the, there was at least 50% of no, debauchery. No, but it was never, yeah, it was never about. I mean, for gosh sakes, I had education. Chewy dress up in a blank or in a, in a <laughs> diaper, an adult diaper, yeah. adult diaper, and try to tame King King, King Rat Snakes. Well, that so, is yeah, education. That is yeah. very, yeah. You've, you've had him it's dress the, up in what? assless chaps and wash cars. Yeah, wash yeah. cars yeah. with his ass. Yeah. yeah, with his ass. So, but no, that's it's more it's like so a, funny how a, people. Education of what not to do. They learned how to wash their car now yeah. Yeah. much with I a very hated, hairy ass with less I products hated that one that was terrible yeah, yeah that, was that was the one that got us in trouble yeah, with zoom ed yeah <laughs> i remember I, yeah let's hear about this yeah so we had zoom ed was a sponsor of, of the, the of snake bites for just a year or something like that and it was really i mean a, a bad sponsorship on my part they weren't paying us any money they were literally just giving us a product to give away each week right mm, which was right, great right. for them but what did we get yeah. out of it you know i mean Nothing. it was nice to give something away but they would give us like a rep debater they would give us you know whatever huh. cage and each week we would they give like you. this yeah yeah and, but i got nothing That's i just being aligned dollar, with the product yeah. and, and I, rem I remember rita <laughs> from zoom Ed, who's who runs zoom Ed, called me up right after the 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 ass uh chap uh car uh -huh. thing car and she goes she goes brian <laughs> we we, we we got to do something about this. She said, she said, I was in my office watching the snake bites and all of a sudden there's an assless <laughs> chap. She goes, I like had to close the blinds because she thought people would think oh she was God. watching porn or something like yeah. that. And she's <laughs> like, Zoom Ed can't represent this. And I, and, and of course, you know, I was like, I'm sorry. And we did kind of clean it up after that, to be honest, because I really yeah. did respect Zoom Ed and I still respect Zoom Ed to this day. But uh, it was, um, it was, you know, I mean, but I, but it would, I was a bad businessman at that yeah. time because I didn't even get a dollar for, for promoting them every week, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, you, and then you I didn't get geared. Yeah. And then you catered your content 
for them. Yeah, for them. But that being said, I will say Zoom has been great to us since then. They've donated a lot of stuff to the zoo. They've, yeah. I mean, they, they're a great company, and we we always will support Zoom. They're great for the hobby as well. Yeah. They donate a ton of money to the U.S. Ark. So all you know, I'm I'm all it's, about Zoom. Ed, but but I guess Rita didn't and, like the ass. ass and list. it's it's always good to grow. You yeah. know, it's just like I those immature skits were hilarious. You know what yeah. I mean? But like, it's good that you don't do them anymore because. It shows growth. Yeah. You know? Well, it was understand? funny because even when we did some skits recently, maybe a, a year or so ago yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. people were like, this isn't real. You could tell it's fake. Well, yeah, yeah no, no it was a dip. skit. It was like, yeah, yeah it's just no supposed kid. to be a joke. It was a like joke. incarnate. Yeah. 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 Like Eric really didn't keep White Castle in his hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he did have the Taco Bell in his pocket. <laughs> Remember we did that yeah. one skit yeah. and people were like, you could tell it's fake because there was a camera in the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, like that's, that's, or, that's how you could tell. Or the Slim Jim under bedding. Yeah. Other than that, I, I would it. totally believe. Yeah, that, that's what Eric does. <laughs> I know I people are so them. silly. People are so, so silly. In the hide snacks in the <laughs> that was, but it was half <laughs> real. <laughs> their their opinion was real. That's the sad thing. And then you, and then you know then we read comments if you do do that, and then you can get offended or you can get yeah. your feelings hurt in some sort of way. When you're dealing with those people who yeah. think a skit is supposed to be reality, like yeah, it's funny. I think, uh, but the one thing was funny. This was not. A, this was not uh, a skit. And it, remember, I can't remember who it was, but someone had their cell phone, and Eric had. Oh, it was Danny. Fucking, Danny. Yeah, had Danny it. had her cell phone, and he had a taco hidden in a rack. Okay. That's and, why we and did that. Literally, joke, like yeah. yeah, and literally he like looked around. And he ate the top. You just was, passed. Yeah. 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 It, it, she was just like, she was like filming for, I don't even know what happened. She came to me. She goes, look at this footage. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, he literally was like, yeah, and that's why taco. we did the whole skit. Yeah. yeah. We did a whole skit around. So the it taco. did originate from a reality. Yeah. reality. Yeah. Like, it was real, real reality. Of yeah. course like, he did. He had a taco <laughs> hidden in the freaking rack. Dude, it was the know? best, Lori, because like he, Brian walks past and then he looks both ways and then pulls the taco out out of nowhere, out of one of the baby colubrid racks. Yeah. Like, I walked by and he like looked at me and he followed me all the way till I was out of the room. And, and as soon as I was out of the room, he like grabbed his taco and he starts just shoving it's it in his so mouth, good. man. Like, like you would have cared if he was eating. Yeah, it, right? yeah. Like you could eat. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we don't run a crew where it's like, what are you doing eating a taco? Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. Get up, you're fired. Yeah. Let's hit some supers, you man. Yeah, it looks like they're crushing uh, Christia it. says, hello, Brian, Noah, Lori, and Jay. It's always hey. so great to see you guys. I love you all and can't wait to see you guys in June. Well, that's thank awesome, Christia. Yeah, she said she was coming in June. So that's Ooh, awesome, fantastic. Well, can't wait Loving to it. See you. We got future thank Reptarium you. employee says, hey, yeah. guys, I wish I could Go. give more, but I'm broke till payday. No Had to worry, get no a worries. lot of work done on my teeth today but oh. i wanted to leave something well mm. listen thank you so much we Good appreciate luck. you man and uh, i hope those teeth there's nothing worse than teeth problems yeah right? I you, know? you know what i, I learned What's is that? that your gums are a direct line to your heart so if you right. have gum disease yeah it will fucking yep. kill you yeah just isn't like that, immediately isn't that weird like how is that possible i don't know like what weird our bodies, bodies are our we bodies and are so and that's cool. why <laughs> yeah cool <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah or it's <laughs> definitely strange but that's why they they will want you to floss a lot. Just keep yeah. those gums healthy so you don't die. Yeah, it, it, you're right. It's like so gums true. are related to heart disease, which is crazy. But it, I don't I don't know. I know it's, there's it's so far away from your heart. You know, I was actually watching a video <laughs> of this. I was actually a TikTok. I found a guy. You know, I follow some people on YouTube. Uh, of, Gum doctors? No anxiety guys. Oh. But uh, but I finally I found one on TikTok. <laughs> weirdly enough. Oh no way. Okay. Yeah, what and he gives like say? little things. But he said that if you're starting to feel anxious, just open your mouth like this. Ah. Not ah, uh, don't ah. Uh. <laughs> just go like this, and it resets your vagus nerve. And of course, your vagus nerve is, is really responsible central. for yeah. a lot of the anxiety. Like no, uh, not like not like uncomfortable. Like drop it like comfortably. Not like ah. Uh, 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 not like that fucking. Drop your jaw. Not a like bit. a horror movie. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Tell me what's comfort. just like this, like this. Watch this. Go. All right. I'll uh, uh, just loose. Uh, wow, I feel great. Uh, uh, See, the anxiety's out of the room now. <laughs> <laughs> the mood is great. That's pretty much just like being stoned, like super stoned. You're like, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's why yeah. you're so calm when you're super stoned. Is like, yeah, yeah, it's, not the, it's not that you're stoned. It's that your mouth is dripping. Like, yeah, and you got saliva going your down vagus your lip. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. resetting your vagus. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> we've, we've all grown today. We have. Sammy Young says, happy Wednesday, y'all. Sending much love and positive vibes thank your you. way. Love this vlog, uh, the vlogs this past week. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm glad that you like them. We got some, we got some bangers coming too. Oh, I think tomorrow's yeah. a really bangers. good one. 
Yeah, um, it was one of my favorite out, Saturday uh, too. Uh, it was. It, did Did you know what? Can I give it away or no? Yeah, I don't not, know what right? you're talking about. But yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Shout it out. So I got in the pond with RJ <gasps> with chicken yeah. drumsticks. What? And fed him drumsticks. <laughs> it was like, crazy. It was hand, fed? hand fed. Hand oh. fed. Hand fed. Hand fed. Hand fed. Hand fed. And, and there was a couple times where he came down. He was like a Dude, couple inches close. from my leg. Yeah. yeah. And he's a giant alligator. <laughs> that was cool. It was, it was really fun it? though. And and what we did is he we was actually channeling his inner. Uh, Dude, he sounded like a six-year-old. Brian was like, I was I, he so had happy. cracks in his voice I've never heard before. He was like, I, this is so cool. I did. Ha I did have a blast. I mean, no shit. That was like. It that was, was it was a lot of fun. You were trying to be like Savannah. 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 Well, Savannah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she ever gets in the water with him to feed him, but some of the people at Gatorland do that, yeah. It's crazy. I guess Savannah would too, probably. Yeah. But, fuck. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun. It was good. And of course, for every chicken strip, or chicken strip, for every chicken <laughs> leg that uh -huh. it ate, I, I'm giving away a reptile arm <gasps> shirt. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. So now it, is it a different shirt every time, or is it I, I told people to comment in the mm. comments what shirt they would like, and I'll and, you'll choose. and for every drumstick, I'm going to pick a random person and give them that shirt. Awesome. So yeah, it was dope. Yeah, yeah. see how that goes. Uh, so I guess well. you have to find out if he ate any. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to watch tomorrow more. if he ate any at all. He may not have eaten, Ooh. and you get Ooh. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> v Dog says, Brian, we love how long hey. it takes you to explain things. It makes you a good speaker. <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah, I don't think Lori and Noah agree with that. <laughs> to a certain extent. Yeah. I think that, you know, this is good and bad. You know, you can go too long on some things, yeah. but sometimes you need to elaborate. Yeah, sometimes you need to talk for two hours on a podcast. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes. Huh. Huh. Simple Man says, Simple Man. hey, Barjack fam, uh, hope you're all doing up, well. Baby? Noah, did you ever get to finishing last weekend? Or fishing? Fishing what? Oh, fishing. Yeah. Sorry. Fishing. 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 My bad. Yeah, I didn't catch anything, but... You know, it was raining the one day, so I didn't even fish. And then we only did it for like in twenty minutes the other day. Yeah. Because, but yeah, but I was surprised Michael caught a bass. Michael, right? yeah, Michael has definitely been fishing longer than me. He he seems to know what's up. I still so, don't necessarily know. I've only done it for a summer. Yeah, so. that's weird. Like, so so to me, I'm not a fisherman, yeah. right? I don't know anything about fish. I do yeah. watch Deadliest Catch, though. Yeah. So you're that's an expert. So it's like you I'm got not, that. Very so I got that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's very you got similar. The basics. To, yeah. So I'm almost a master angler. Yeah. Um, for catching crabs. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. big giant nets. He's got yeah. the big old yeah. 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 metal box. <laughs> He's like, come oh, on, no, we're dock. going fishing. <laughs> well, you use a pole? I thought you yeah. used a cage. Yeah. Yeah, use a cage. I had no idea. How many legs uh, fish got? <laughs> yeah. I was going to drag a cage across the street. Uh, king leg trail. I can, just, I can help you. What so, are you so I was going to say, like, so if you know, it's like to me, it's just like you throw you. it in and you hope a fish eats it. Okay, I can describe it and I'll describe it really quick. So basically, 90 seconds. yeah. So <laughs> basically, if you just want to have fun and catch something, yes. worms. Okay. okay. Use worms. Anything will eat worms, and okay. you'll lose a lot of worms, but you'll definitely catch something. Almost guaranteed if the weather oh, is. Well, nice. that's what I'm going to do. And so, so worms are definitely the way to go. Now, what where it gets tricky and where it gets more professional, if you will, is when you are buying lures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because each of these lures has different purposes and different. Okay. For each fish, okay? Oh, yeah. So there's bass lures, me. there's uh, panfish lures, mm. and, you know, it goes through it all. So you okay. can have a giant lure, which is meant for, like, ocean fish. Yeah. That obviously wouldn't work if you threw it into a pond. Right. Or you could have a tiny little lure, which is just going to catch panfish all day, and you'll really never catch anything bigger than something small. Interesting. You know what I mean? Okay. And so basically what you have to do is you have to <laughs> practice with these lures okay. in your ponds that you go to regularly, yep. and then you eventually develop a pattern. All right, I can tell that by this weather and this wind gust wow, and this, this time so of day. It is complicated. It's very complicated. Damn. And this time of day that I know that the fish are going to be top water and that they're and because the water is, for say, clear, I'm going to have to use this color of lure wow. because... Of just certain technical reasons, so it's very complicated when you get into the lore. Wow, I had no idea. L I just, game. I literally thought that everyone just put a fucking worm on. Right, a boat. you know how you I go like know. you can do that. And I it, didn't know that. Works. I thought that's how you fish. I just Lurks thought one. you picked lures by how if you how pretty thought they were pretty. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Bro, you know how you go like herping you though, and like remember yeah. when we went out in, out in Utah, and you're like, "There's no way there's gonna be snakes there." Yeah, that's kind of it too. You know yeah. what I mean? Is like you just have that extra knowledge of like, yeah. "Oh, fish are gonna be." Oh, around did, this I area. didn't tell you, Jay. Did what? you hear that we're uh, we're at, at, by the lake and and uh, I caught a snake? No way. What kind? My first snake was a garter snake. Butler's Ooh, so cool. Sam Novus or Talus Butler Eye. Oh, uh, so fancy. It was, uh, it was it was yeah, my first snake of the year. Dude, that's awesome. At the new place. Did I tag, tag it? it? 
No, I didn't tag it. Pit tag it? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, he's caught. I'm not going to get on your way now, kidder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that was, it was exciting. That's so cool, It was dude. super exciting. I was happy. I'm happy for you. That was you. fast, yeah. too. Yeah. It was, yeah. Did you see it? No, but oh. before I got there, Oh, it was before. It. Yeah, it was before. Yeah, yeah. So. Jade, my daughter, got... My daughter. My daughter. My daughter got <laughs> scared. She's she she got daughter. scared. Uh, Alex says, love you guys. Hey. Thank you so much, Thank Alex. So we much, love Alex. you too, seriously. Uh, Midwest RC says, sup everyone. Long time no talk. Yeah, it has Muscle been a long time. Control. Yeah, which, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> you, 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 no rain receiver. <laughs> Thanks for got coming no, back. Got no batteries? We missed you. No, yeah, Hell definitely yeah. to have you back, man. Good to, to Always good to have you back. Let's hit a couple more. Uh, Little Bogus says, hey, everyone. Lori. What hey. about books and booze? A book club podcast with wine. I'd totally mm. join. That's not mm. a bad idea. That'd be actually. cool. It's not a bad idea. You get drunk. You can talk about your crafts or your books that you've been reading. Yeah. Yeah. Jot it down. That seems like a no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a hard no to me. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't seem too enthused about that one. I, no, it's not a bad idea. It's, it's not, not a bad idea, which means it's not good or great. So mm. here we go. But <laughs> yeah. thank you for the support. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Alex came back to say, oh. hey, Brian, uh, what's a good bearded dragon breeder? I like, uh, if you go on Instagram, kids and dragons or Corona Dragons. Oh. Uh, are, are the, <laughs> Do you think they're selling uh, a lot? COVID, uh, uh, dragon. COVID, COVID Dragon? <laughs> the hell yeah, they, they were Corona Dragon before COVID. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't even think about that one. It comes with a free vaccine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, don't say That's vaccine. Great... Don't say vaccine for God's sakes. Yeah. People beat you <laughs> okay, up. People fight you in the comments. People fucking block me right now. How you say. got gonna die? You're all right. <laughs> all right. Gotta, don't you do a vaccine? Um. And then my mom came in. She says, "I'm intrigued, Lori. This is for your wine fun. Love oh. the thumbnail, Lori. You look so angelic, like the angel you are." Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, she's baby. an angel. I can tell you, Lori's a lot. <laughs> I gotta see this thumbnail. <laughs> Lori, Lori is a lot of things. Angel probably is one of them. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> is one of them. Me? He Excuse said me? is one of them. Yeah, I said, I said, angel I said is, 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 is one, one of them. You know how he is with the that's, talking. Let's go back to the... Yeah, we'll, the rewind we'll rewind it. <laughs> rewind that shit. I think angel she's angelic. Slash saint. Ooh. Saint. 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 Oh, yeah. saint Michael. <laughs> saint Michael. Is he the archangel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Ooh, fell, fell, so from, st- fell from grace. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Saint? said, "Yeah, Satan is a Mike. Yeah, is Saint Saint Mi- no. yeah, Santa. What, what was Saint Michael? What was Lucifer. Saint Michael? Wasn't he the archangel that fell from grace and God that in was, the Bible? Where's Brother Clint Lucifer. when I need him? Brother yeah. Clint, that was Lucifer. Yeah, you're thinking of the devil. Yeah, and yeah. who is now yeah. the devil? Well, who's Saint, Saint Michael? Michael? Who's Saint Michael? I don't That's know. Jade's That's... husband. Yeah. 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 What you're talking about? There's no such thing as a Saint Michael. Listen, in the Catholic Church." There's a million saints. So. I think it's. I think that's what it was. Yeah. It was like a Catholic thing. Saint it's, Michael was an archangel that fell from no, God's grace. No, that's Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> the devil. Well, maybe yeah. Saint Michael is No, there was Lucifer. only one. <laughs> there could only Listen, be one. I just know what I was taught in catechism. Okay. No, you don't. Clearly, you All don't. Right. <laughs> Stephanie says, "Love you Between guys." Between being fondled by, <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I, I got a couple oh, words. That's in. what it was. Saint Michael was that dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The toucher. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Stephanie says, "Love you guys." Lori is the best. She is my spirit animal. Oh, hey, spirit Stephanie. animal. Thank you. <laughs> you're an angelic. You're an animal. Is that what you're I thought so. Is that what you said? Yes. You're it an is. angelic. He's just throwing spirit. them all out. You're an angel. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying, ain't no, ain't ain't no animal. animal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, God. God, Christia says, speaking of teeth, I had to get all of mine pulled because they what? were decaying, so I have Jesus. to wait for my dentures to come in. Well, Christia, I've got a damn. whole nother view of what by picturing Christia. Christia now. I hope you got teeth when you come to visit in June. <laughs> She's going to give good kisses. Uh, there's, yeah. there's no teeth to block the tongue block punch. The tongue. You, know, you can just fucking and just go right into the back of her throat. Oh my God, Jesus that is crazy, Christ. man. Sorry. I got to get out of here. Was that too far? Ooh, that yeah. might have been too far. Sometimes I take it there. Yeah. yeah. But, it, <laughs> but thank you, Christine, for the <laughs> information. <laughs> I hope your dentures get here soon. <laughs> <laughs> Dave yes. Epstein. Oh, well, I man. guess that's another good thing about mass, right? <laughs> oh, you know, oh my God. I've never thought no, of that. Really? Know. Teeth now. I was saying the same thing. I said this at the beginning of the quarantine about how it's the perfect time to have herpes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's simplex one, right? Is what you're Simplex one, yeah. of course. Yeah. I would never talk about two or three. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm glad. 
Yeah. Oh, that was another I'll thing that I Greece. saw that is misinformation <laughs> that's being put out there about the vaccine. They're saying now it can cause herpes. Ooh, really? good. Yeah, that, that's that's the oh, new internet thing. Oh, an... don't get the vaccine if unless you want herpes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they're injecting so they're herpes. So in done, bro. You know, you know, they're what? figuring. We're they're just figuring. Throw, <laughs> throw some herpes in there. Just <laughs> you know, that way funny. we know who has the <laughs> vaccine. Oh, who needs you don't an need ID a card? You don't need a card. You got a little bump on your lip. You can come in. You know what's funny? I was doing an open mic. Yeah, that's a good joke. I was doing an open mic the other day, and the guy before me, his last bit was about how he had herpes. And then you're up there in the mic. And yeah, and then I go up on the mic. I'm like, what? Did I you call, start it? I, yeah, I call it out. Good, I'm like, good. dude, what the fuck is it? I don't even remember what I said, but I did call it out. And then I got a mic condom. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I put a, a little mic yeah, condom on. Have that, so sick. But dude, have what are you doing? Raw dog and mics with herps. Like, I what are know, you doing, right? yeah. man? Yeah. You're like, spitting on that thing and then Ooh. I'm up there next. Like, uh, I didn't think about Jesus. that. That is, yeah. It's and it's sketchy. funny. Uh, I'd bring my own mic if I was you. Yeah, some or just people, condoms. Some people do do that. Or just Clorox mm. wipes. But I'll tell yeah. you why. I'll tell you why it's not that. It doesn't work that well. Is Unless you make a joke out of it, it's awkward yeah. setting up your own mic. Yeah. Because you got to unplug it. And then, you know, it takes about 10 seconds. It has, unless you make a bit out of it, it's just a fucking awkward 10 seconds where there's just silence and you up on stage. So unless you, yeah. like, take your pants off or something. If you could get, like, a really funny mic, though. Like one that's like, 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 a, like a, a dildo mic or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. just what it's I want to talk right. into, Dad. Just suck it off. I'm in just the saying, of the people, people, people would remember this you. This is not a good doing? idea. This is not a good <laughs> no, idea. The Joe. wacky moon is a wild dildo, right? I'm going to get a fallopian tube mic. That's a little bit better. That is better. I don't know what that is. Speaking into a fallopian. Just get a big black dildo. Shut right on there. Your dildo. What do you mean? I don't know. It's the first thing that came in my head. Sometimes it doesn't make a lot of sense, you know? Yeah. I can't explain myself ever, you know, then. (laughs) Dave says, what's up, guys? And gal, what is a uh, great way to spend a cold, snowy day here in Georgetown, Kentucky? Keep up the great work. Love you guys. Same way you do up here in Michigan. Listen, man. uh, (laughs) Stay inside. We literally, we were uh, out of town, and and I had no clue it was supposed (laughs) to snow. And so on the way back i called my mom and my mom said we're supposed to get three inches of snow i'm like what it's april it's 20th. like april 20th and it was like 60 degrees what yeah. we talking about and i look on my my weather app and sure enough it says one to three inches and shit if it didn't snow <laughs> you know and woke up with snow all over the place and that wasn't that bad though it was melted by noon or so bad but, enough. but was, still i i'm glad that you can hang out with us on your snowy day because I we're think- commiserating too I think that what you have to do, if I'm being, I'm gonna give you a genuine answer. All right, so you're gonna have to throw on a classic movie. Mm. I recommend probably the day before last. Wait, no, I didn't say that right. Day before tomorrow. The day before tomorrow is it? No, no. Day uh, after tomorrow. Day after day tomorrow. After tomorrow yeah. yeah, we'll get day there. after tomorrow. Throw that That's on. That's a good one. Start up a little fire. If you don't have a fireplace, just just a pan. Do some books. Do something. Just burn some books. Yeah, books burn in a pan. Books. books in a pan. Perfect, because that's a scene in that movie. Exactly. Where you're yeah, burning yeah, books. yeah, at the library so, or and a then, candle. That yeah. doesn't give I off much heat, though. <laughs> yeah. Ambiance. I'm just talking safe and ambiance. I mean, yeah, that would work. But I was going to say start the fire so you can cook some s'mores. Oh. And I mean, I'm yeah. sure you could cook in a s'more. In your living room. Middle of your living room. Middle of the living room. Yeah. And I'm sure you could cook a s'more over a candle. Over a candle. But it would have that yeah. taste. Waxy. It wouldn't taste yeah. good. It wouldn't waxy. taste that no. good. It's not really good. Yeah, I've tried it uh, on yeah. a stove, and it's not good on a stove. No, no, it, you can it do works. it on a stove. You can do it, but it's not do that it good. It doesn't have that campfire. Because then it gets the flavor you know. and shit. Yeah, so yeah. basically, watch a movie and set a fire up. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> if, you, if you have a, a, a lid to a garbage can, mm-hmm. fire in there is the best. Fire it. Like, put that down and then burn your books in there. In your house. Burn your books. In, in the middle of your living room, yeah. And second option is, you know, go to your local inner city and give money to the homeless. Yeah, now yeah, you know how smart. they feel. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, you just want to give it, because they're going to be cold, all right? They're going to be they're cold. Gonna, so if you give cold. them money, they can buy booze or, and then warm themselves up. Yeah, or yeah. you can bring them blankets. Yeah. Yeah, well. Do you remember, do you remember <laughs> <Socks>. that? Socks. <laughs> no, and this isn't, this, isn't anything, this isn't anything against homeless people, so I, I don't want people to attack me or anything like that. Oh, but yeah, I remember we're they're homeless. They have a lot of internet well, I don't know necessities. Yeah, no, but they probably do. To be honest with you, they probably walk around with an iPad right now that's connected uh, to 5G. But, what um, homeless people are you saying? <laughs> no, but I'm the saying that r- remember we were in uh, Chicago uh, airport on our way back from Hawaii years ago when Noah was a kid, like was, six months old or whatever. Six 
months. And a guy came up and he was pounds. like, hey, you know, I'm homeless. Could I get a couple bucks? And we had just bought some sandwiches. And he's like, I, I'm real hungry. I haven't eaten. And I go, here, dude, here's a sandwich. He goes, I don't want your sandwich. And he walked away. <laughs> and you're like, okay, sick. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, okay, good. That was nice. Dude, I would... I mean, literally, it doesn't was, even matter if I just ate. If someone offered me a sandwich, I'm taking the sandwich. Yeah. And I'm not even homeless. Yeah. So that guy But has you're one step. You're one step priorities. away. You know what I mean? You're one step away from it, though. Step one step from what? Being homeless? <laughs> yeah, with your career path, you know? What the fuck <laughs> is this guy talking about? I'm trying to be a performer. This guy sucks. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> no. I'm telling you. I'm serious. Why would you ever deny a sandwich? I mean, literally, yeah, well, it depends. at if this like point in my life, che- like an egg salad sandwich, it I'm denying wasn't. it. It doesn't even matter. But at this point in my life, I'm <laughs> begging, like, because, you know, women stop making sandwiches. I'm begging any woman, please make me a sandwich. So, you know what I mean? Or yeah. is, this, or is there a disconnect? Mom's looking at me like, no, fuck Well, she you. does, because <laughs> mom definitely wasn't one that I married for her cooking prowess. No. <laughs> no, but you know I what? just think it's I important. You. I made you a sandwich every damn day when you went to school. That's it was the same, it was the <laughs> same <laughs> sandwich. That was the <laughs> same <laughs> sandwich. No, I did. Your sandwich <laughs> days are done. Now That's you make your sandwich. own damn sandwich. I'm not asking you to make me a sandwich, mom. <laughs> He's asking another woman. I'm asking a fucking... Make your own woman. damn sandwich. I bet you any money. <laughs> Listen, I bet and that's the problem with this world. You need, to find, you need to find a woman to make a sandwich for. Me. Ooh. You didn't no. think you said it for me. No. Yeah, I, saw, exactly. I caught that you know. I caught that. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? amen. I bet you Clistillo no. would make you a sandwich. Oh, yeah, and give me a gummy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Got her. <laughs> Thanks for that boom, super chat. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. Uh, John says, just wanted to let you know how wonderful it is to have someone to look up to. You're my idol. Your passion is so inspiring. And I got my first banana. That was for oh, you, Noah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, John. <laughs> well, thank you, John. I really do John. try hard. Yeah. And, just, you and know I what think I it's really weird that he's, he's never had a banana before. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're delicious. They're silly like, little guy. They're yeah. only 99 cents. I know. Do- Dole makes... Dole. Or, what was Dole makes banana. I know the investor for Dole. <laughs> is that, is that, no, that's yeah. Oh, what's that's his right. name? What's his name? Yin? Ja, 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 he, he, he invested in that. He yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, big, and McDonald's. Yeah, Mc, upcoming. <laughs> that was a good bit. <laughs> and Fractal <laughs> says, uh, "Hey Brian, thanks for all the tips for breeding ball pythons. Almost at my one year mark, and have gotten my first clutch wow. late on the fifteenth. Fantastic. Good for you. Good for you. No, that's really exciting. I mean, it's nice. We're finally getting clutches too. I think we're. Yeah. Up to about 10 Not, clutches yeah, I was right say now. Like about nine, 10, right? So, yeah, so wow. I wonder. Excited. I can't wait to get. We should have clubber eggs any day, right? Actually, I had a girl starting mine today. <gasps> oh. What? You didn't tell me? <laughs> I, I just me. remembered. She would literally Was it the black and white calking? Yeah. Oh. oh. Something for tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Mm. Can I tell you a story? Mm. Yes, please. So last night I was at an open mic. Yes. Right? And I was. I went up first. You went first because yeah. you were there like an hour and a half but early. I've been so I can. I'm just gonna make it short. I've been doing this because it's hard to go first. Yeah, You're pretty much most people bomb when they go first. Yeah. So my mindset is, if I can learn to kill it going first, yeah, it will just make my life easier when I get to go in the middle or yeah. towards the sure. end. Yeah. Right. So if there's ever a number one spot, I just sign it up. That's just my That's motto so smart. far. Smart. So I go first, and then. I did not that well. <laughs> so I come back down, but everybody else is having a good set, at least cracking me up. So I'm sitting there, and then this lady, Kara, she goes up there, and I've seen her before, so I know she's good, right? And she does something different. She starts putting on music, and then she's just dancing for her whole set, right? What? And I'm like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Like, usually she talks a lot, and she's rapping and stuff, just little corny raps, nothing like crazy or anything, but just, they were funny. They had funny punchlines. And then this uh, Native American guy, He's like barely speaking English. He's like really kind of fucked up, right? He just kind of stumbles to like the stage and he pulls out this big old wad of ones and he just starts making it rain on her. Just making it rain (laughs) on her. Just throwing cash on Kara. I know, it was fucking awesome. It was just like so many fucking ones just being thrown out and the guy was just stumbling around. He hopped up on stage. She was just like, Get away from me. Get, please. Oh my <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Holy cow. So that's been my life recently. Oh, that's awesome. Though. That's I don't good. know why that popped in my head, but no, I think that's it was a great story. story. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I think you're it's, uh, yeah, now you know what to do to make money. So you're hoping yeah. that at one of your 
freestyles. Someone just starts making what if, it rain What if a you? woman comes up and just starts throwing sandwiches at you? Oh, oh it's like a dream. Wife. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I would literally just start salivating. Uh, uh, <laughs> I get down on my knees. I'm like, please. <laughs> I'm going to pay some bitch to go throw sandwiches at Cl- him in his Clistia, next definitely. open mic. Yeah, Clistia there better definitely be, brings in. Mark Ridley's cat. There'll be two to fish. <laughs> there better be fucking turkey clubs, man. I'm fucking out. <laughs> uh, Mama Tomsky came back and said, repeat after me. I made the monitor Lisa shirt for you. Perfect. I right. made the monitor Lisa, Lisa shirt, shirt for after you. After you. After, oh, after, after you. After you. After you. Yeah, monitor Lisa Tomsky. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's uh, how you didn't know? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see. What I do you see. think? What, what do you think? We didn't think about that? We didn't think about that, idiot. I like the monitor Lisa. Tiffany, what is up? Tiffany says, Tiffany's- super excited for my Reptile Army merch to show up. Yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> also, Helen merch soon, right? Question yes, mark. Yes. Also, my grandpa works in Cabela's fishing department. He oh, loves shit. fishing. That's Hell awesome. Yeah. Tiffany's like my bulldog, right? Oh, she get I mean, in there? Like, yeah, she like she she sticks up for me during the comment section. Good. Like anyone says anything, pff, Tiffany will attack you. So you oh, be yeah. careful, man. Tiffany's the <sighs> tread my, lightly. Yeah, she, she's she's my freaking hit man. She said that her grandpa loves fishing. Yeah. You know who's a grandpa and also loves fishing? Who? Jay, my sister's husband, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a grandpa. Yes, he uses and it's it's kind Does of a use compliment. Baby it's kind of a compliment in the fishing world. No, he doesn't use baby powder. I don't know what that is. That's probably an old person move. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that sounds old. But what he does is he uses like one of one wooden lures and shit. Like oh, that's wow. so grandpa's yeah. move. He's very <laughs> into that stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I whittled this one when I was in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah I exactly. Got you. I got you. It's like, yeah, he's out yeah. in the bush and he's just fucking whittling. <laughs> yeah, making his like, own what are lures. You doing? So, yeah, yeah I that's agree with two you. grandpas that there like there fishing. Go. There you go. Speaking of mics. Oh, sorry. Go no, on. I was speaking of grandpas. Yes. Have you heard this? Because I heard this on the radio the other day, and I wanted to ask you that there's grandpa style. Let me that's, hear it. That's a style right now. Well, that's I don't know what that real is. Real big sure. with the your age. Grandpa style. So <laughs> now, what do people wearing said grandpa style wear? So they wear what like old men would wear. So, so like they wear like khaki. Cr- polo? So they just wear. You know how old guys just. They'll just wear whatever they used to wear. So like the flowery shirts or the, you know, uh. that kind of stuff. If you think uh. about going to, you know, like Manny's place okay. where the guys wear comfy shoes, like, yeah, real comfy, uh, casual, yeah, yeah. like whatever. Some of them hats. But I guess that's what the thing they were talking about. Wow, like grandpa style is <laughs> is like the new style right now with that's the young strange. hipsters. It, you I know guess. what? There's something to this because the mustache is also back. Yeah, it yeah. is back. It's yeah. back in full force. <laughs> full force. I yeah. see so many mustaches these days. Yeah. You guys and all wave at each other. No. Yeah, it's like the Jeep wave. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jeep wave, but the mustache <laughs> wave, yeah. We all are friends, though. But it's weird. <laughs> and I think it has to do with something like seeing old movies. Right. And yeah, the Burt Reynolds. Yeah, it's like yeah. the 70s. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kind of yeah. had that mustache vibe yeah, going. Everybody, yeah. And Ron Jeremy. And I think we just <laughs> brought it back. Ron Named Burgundy? One. No, Ron Named Jeremy. One. I don't know Ron Bear, Jeremy. He, the hedgehog? The porn star? Famous the, porn the, the star, porn, Famous porn star, the hedgehog? I'm sorry. Whoa, I don't, damn, man. I don't watch enough porn, I guess. Well, yeah. you would have to have been in the 70s or 80s. He was <laughs> yeah. like, But he's like famous like now more probably now that you know, yeah, he like, doesn't do porn now. You know, he's like probably He's like Hugh Hefner famous. Yeah, he's yeah. like everyone wants to hang out with the, the hedgehog. You know, really? it's like he's like the Snoop Dogg of the porn world, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> have you heard of this? No. Okay, at least right. I'm not alone. Okay. Because well, that made me feel weird. I was but like, I'm how did older I never than heard... you, too. You're I was young. like, how did I never learn about the hedgehog? <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> That's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> why did he Especially get... Especially in porn. Why? In no, porn, too. No, I'm thinking what, this is, is he, terrible thing. What, does he burrow into the... <laughs> I, like, I, is think, like, I think it was because it? he was real hairy. Yeah, chubby like, and like hairy chubby and small. Chubby and hairy and... Yeah, like, but, like hedgehogs weird. have spikes. Not hair. I don't. I, listen, I don't know. I didn't name I didn't them. Name them. The you should be like yeah, the honey they badger. They just call them. The, the <laughs> no, that's a good porn name. The honey <sighs> badger. Are we moving on to <laughs> the next super me? chat? That's a good uh, speaking point. Of Mike, speaking yeah, of Mike. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. Uh, Mike the jeweler says, hey, guys, hey. long time. No see. Yeah, well, no doubt. What's last up, couple baby? weeks on vacation in Florida. Oh, Hope wow. everyone is doing well listening in from work. Well, good luck oh. with the COVID. Yeah, I'm glad that yeah, you got it. Luck. Yeah, Thank good luck. Good, <laughs> good luck with getting over the COVID. Yeah. Um, ah, we got it. We got our I, I, facts. 
for ah. St. Michael's. Oh, okay. So you weren't far off. So it St. says, uh, Will D says, St. Michael's is an arch, uh, an archangel that fights Satan, speaking oh. from eight years of Catholic school. There See? You, go. you had knew it, it was something. See, you knew, I knew it, was it was tied to the fallen angel. You didn't know how. Yeah, I knew it was not. I mean, it was a very tough time. I was drinking a lot during catechism. Yeah, the you wine. Know, so, was yeah, the, 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 yeah, the Jesus juice was flowing. And, um, a couple different. <laughs> <you> Jesus <know>. juice. <laughs> what? So, what? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I'm so lost. Let's just not worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Let's just leave it there. Yeah. Let's just leave it there. I don't even want to know you never what heard Jesus about, juice is. You never heard about Michael Jackson? He used Michael to give J. the Fox? kids. No, Michael Jackson. Okay. He used okay. to give the kids what he called Jesus juice, which was like wine, uh, to get them drunk, and then he would fondle them. I don't believe it. I'm not sure that he did it. That's just this the story. Allegedly. Yeah. This is Allegedly. a terrible podcast. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good clips in there, though. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going horrible. to now start talking about books I've read. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. 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 He's, he's dead now anyways. It doesn't matter. He's dead. And I, I think that's the problem is, didn't most of this kind of a stuff come after he died? Like No, he like, went no. to trial. He actually got he acquitted. acquitted. He got acquitted just before he died. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was probably the final nail in the coffin because during his trial, he looked pretty harsh. You know what I mean? He looked bad. Yeah, it's probably all those kids he was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it got right to his head. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. 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 Uh, Brendan Foster says, uh, famous words of Brian. Ah, shit. LMAO. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for no. Brenda. No, the, she, the, 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 no I'm not going to say what loaf? my famous words are. Brenda's my loaf. <laughs> don't do it. Is she? She's my loaf. Is she making you some loaf sandwiches? No, she don't make the sandwich. She just supplies the bread. She is the oh, sandwich. She does supply she your bread. She supplies the bread. Oh, that's nice. I got to have... A few more. Well, I'm glad that Jesus you're with us God. now. <laughs> Simple Thank man you. says, uh, do you ever give RJ rabbits or a big mm. enough meal that he has to shake it apart? Uh, Noah did a the whole yeah. chicken once. That Which was, was so cool. cool. It was yeah. wild. He was yeah. slapping him on the wall. Yeah, yeah he was slapping it up against the yeah, wall. Was yeah. It was wild. But we yeah, that's it, the only time I've ever done that. We've done that. Called it chicken slamming. Yeah. Chicken slamming. It was wild, was literally though. just slacking yeah. it against the wall. Yeah, multiple times, too. It was really... And then ch- the, the end one, he chucked it into the waterfall. Yeah, it went, it went flying into the waterfall. <laughs> shook it and chucked it into the waterfall. Yeah, no, it was it cool. It was awesome. Yeah, we don't do it. It's, it's messy, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, that's why it's we don't messy. do it much, because it's so messy. I feel like we could do, like, a something real cool, a turkey, full turkey. Full turkey live? Uh, live. No. <laughs> <laughs> For Bulk. Thanksgiving, I got an idea. <laughs> Jesus. That tar- turkey they pardoned at the White House? You were taking it back? <laughs> you, that could, you could actually sell tickets to that in a basement of an abandoned house in Detroit. Yeah, if yeah. you fucking had RJ yeah. in a bando yeah. in Detroit so right. and then sold tickets to live feedings, you could uh, get yeah. big mugs. I'm not, I wouldn't do that. I'm not though. saying you should, but if there's any entrepreneurs out there, I got you. <laughs> don't do oh it, Lord. please, please. Don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just trying to help the people. Yeah. yeah. They're coming up on hard times. They are. The stimmy can only go so far. It's true. It's almost run out. It is. <laughs> Andrew says, coming to see you guys in July. Uh, father and son trip with my seven-year-old. Mm. First time to Michigan. Any wow. tips or recommendations besides the Reptarium, of course? So, uh, well, I, I can't wait till you come. July is nice in Michigan. It's beautiful. Usually, it's usually really beautiful weather, so that's good. There's obviously a lot to do in Michigan, especially in our area. Tons of things. There's games. There's arcades. Mm-hmm. There's uh, obviously the Henry Ford Museum and, and Greenfield Village is really cool outdoor thing. The Detroit Zoo. There's an aquarium. Uh, that is uh, not too far, about an hour away. There's just a ton of stuff to do So here. much to do, it, yeah. It's like I, I tell people all the time that, yeah, I mean, yeah, Frank and Muth, I mean, if you're willing to go for a little trip. Um, there's so much to do here. I think it's a, such an underrated part of the country. I agree. Yeah, yeah it is nice. Uh, Veronica says, bought a pizza for a homeless gentleman the other day, and Dang. he got mad that I purchased a regular cheese pizza instead of a meat lover's <laughs> offer. What a jerk. Listen, I get I it, though. What are you coming over here with that. regular I mean, cheese? Yeah. <laughs> so fuck <laughs> out of here. Take, that, I mean, take your homeless food somewhere else. So yeah, Veronica, Veronica, I think we all pretty much are, are siding with the homeless person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where's the I'll protein, dude? Yeah, that's an insult. How is he supposed to survive with no protein? I, I know. It's an insult. Like, what? Am, what am I homeless? What am I homeless? What am I homeless? What am I homeless? I can't get the meat. I can't get the meat. just the meat the meat lovers yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all could, of the meat if you could get the cheese and the crust that's a win yeah, that's a win the crust, yeah, yeah. The crust. No. i need calories Apparently, baby he was not hungry enough 
<laughs> can't believe but, uh, that is a funny card. Beggars can be choosers, it seems. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are the choosers. It <laughs> says, uh, I'm dying here. You guys make me laugh, and you guys are a blast. I hope I get my teeth before I visit in June. We, well, we do, too. No one does. Plastia, we are, you're 100%. As soon as you come in, I'm going to be like, take that mask take that off. Mask. <laughs> Don't try to hide behind the mask, Plastia. I want to see. Uh, she gets a mask with just teeth on. It'd be classic. Oh, dude. my God. That'd be so good. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> Rachel says, Blue Ribbon fly fishing here in Montana. Okay. I'm a chef. I run my own pottery studio, but I'm oh, also a wow. fishing guide out here during the summer. You guys Jesus. are the best. Let's fish. I feed I'll feed you too. Yeah, that'll be wow. cool. She's on our way. like amazing. Number one, she's a fisher. We've been watching Montana. a pottery show on TV <laughs> that is really good. Is it bad? What's it called? I love it. You know, we love those British, like the great British. No, I agree. And it's good shows. So this is a pottery show from Britain. Okay. Uh, so what was it called? I can't remember what it's called, but it's on uh, HBO Max, and yeah. and and we just found out that there's four seasons. The pottery something or another. Pottery, yeah. It, mm. Regardless, I like it because it's making pottery and stuff like that. Yeah, pottery uh, competition show on HBO Max, and it, and it's a. The Great Pottery Throwdown. Yep, the, yep, yep, the crap, the Great it. Pottery Throwdown. And so apparently there's four seasons of it. Mm. And we just started season one. So uh, we're going to be watching this for a while. Pots and bases? like all kinds of different stuff. It's a challenge show. It's just kind of set up <clears throat> like the British Bake Off okay. to where they have different challenges. Uh, but then their challenge is a little bit different because their challenges take a few days because they get a, a day. Week, yeah. You know, you got to do something with the mm. clay, but then it has to harden for yeah. so many hours. Then they come back the next day. They have to Paint. do another thing that has to dry. And then it has to do something and then goes in the kiln. So like yeah. the whole process. Yeah. yeah. That that cool. And then they do week. little challenges like in between, sometimes yeah. in between too with you know, cool. smaller things. So this you know what I want to make. sounds awesome, man. Let's go out to Montana and do some fly fishing. Yeah. 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 yeah let's do that. And then, she said pottery, right? Yeah. Pottery. And, then, and she's a chef. I think that we should learn how to make little tea cup thingies. Yeah, that's how you do okay, pottery. Okay, so like, like uh, the urn in Aladdin. Well, not an urn. The lantern. Lantern. Like, lamp. you know what lamp? I mean? Yeah, the lamp that's that you like can tin, like pour. though, right? That's like tin. You know what I mean? It didn't have a little nose that you could pour stuff out of? Yeah, yeah I mean, Aladdin come lamp. out of it. Yeah. yeah, Aladdin came out of the end. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. I want to make one of those for tea. You can't. So you you wanna, can, I don't know so why. So you want to make a teapot? Yeah, but shaped, <laughs> but shaped like but the, shaped, shaped like, like a lantern. A lantern. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's almost like shaped like a neti pot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, you yeah. can even use it as a neti pot if you needed to. Yeah, that would be good. I probably would. <laughs> Hot tea through the. <laughs> Ooh, oh yeah, burn good. that right out. That'd be yeah. good. That is that's nice. a good idea. So if you can make that possible, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's go. Let Rose burn. Okay. She threw two down, so let's see what she's got All to say. Right, I see some stars it. in here, so oh, it looks heated. Go. She oh, says, shit. my mom's friend gave home a homeless man some food. He threw it back at the woman and said, what do you think this is? I wanted the money, bitch. Oh. And then another time we saw a homeless guy with a sign go uh, go to the back of the gas station, <laughs> got in his Hyundai, yeah. and drive home to his house in the same 55-plus community where my parents live. Yep. Yeah, actually, we yeah. hear about that a lot. Gotta love Florida, she said. There, there was a, a pretty famous, you know, so listen, there's, there's probably two different classes of homeless, you know. People that are truly homeless, you know, there's something going on other than finances, right? I mean, the people that live on the street, they don't, they actually oftentimes don't want to live in a house, you know, because that they, they, you know, they, they have that mental disconnect for yeah, some reason, of course. you know, and you've seen this over and over where like maybe a homeless guy like that, that guy that they called the golden voice in Cleveland and yeah. stuff like that. Um, you know, he got all this opportunity and got offered the job for the Cleveland Clavendiers announcer had all this fame. And then within a year or two, he was back on the street because mm-hmm. that's kind of what he did. So there's that homeless. And then there's the other homeless that are not really homeless at all. They're just doing it as a job They're What do they call them? They're like panhandlers. Oh, panhandlers. Panhandlers. Yeah. yeah, they're really they they go Vagabonds. home. Yeah, they go back to a house or a hotel or they live a no, And of course, we had a famous one here in Detroit that was a truly homeless guy. Eat them up, eat tigers. Up, tigers. Eat them <laughs> up. Yeah, and this guy made unbelievable amount of money, but he literally lived on the street. Yeah. And unfortunately, a couple of years ago, someone ran him over and he died. Oh my God. He got fucking yeah. killed. Yeah, I got killed. And, and he was super Everybody famous. Everybody loved him in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, there were like... Everybody. Yeah, there were shirts that were like, Bro. eat him up tiger shirts. Oh, that's so like, cool. Like, it got to the point where if you, we were walking to a Tigers game, after a, a few amount of years that people started getting to know him, 
when you would walk to the pregame, yeah. the whole street would be chanting, like, yeah, eat, eat him, him up, up tigers. tigers. Yeah. Eat him up. Yeah. He started that. He started it. It wasn't yeah. the organization. Yeah, it wasn't he had, what it, it was, was him. No, he absolutely did. And he and had a Hulk. Hulk hand. Yeah. He had a cup. <laughs> and he got, I mean, yeah. I, he'd walk by and there'd be $10 bills, like, oh, just yeah. flying, flying out, out of it. Yeah. I bet you he was making $1,000 oh, yeah. every home game. I don't remember what the number was, but I remember that there was an article that came out that did say how much he was, like, making. Oh, he was making it was a lot. Fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year at least. It was cool. And, it was uh, crazy. But he lived on the street, you know, because that's what he. And, Orange blossom. And I don't know what he did with the money. I mean, maybe he gave it to his friends. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. know. It seemed like a decent guy. Yeah, no, in or, in, uh, <laughs> near Disney, know. Orange Blossom Trail in Orlando, yeah. that yeah, place, that another place. one that's where, too. Uh, Gatorlands, then. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's another one where like you'll just see people out there all day. I mean, they're probably making thousands of dollars because all the tourists and stuff yeah. too. But a lot of them aren't actually homeless either. You know, yeah. go home. Yeah, I remember. Um, you with us, Lori? Are you? You, you are sleeping. so dazed right now. She's, she's, she's out of it right now. Yeah, she's totally out of it. She doesn't like our podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. That's not true. Mm. I that that proves otherwise. Yeah. I just like. I don't know. I want to get her involved, but what do you want to talk about? Yeah, you just, let's talk about something. Let's talk about your robe. Did you get that from? It uh, is really cool. It's I like the robe. It's a sweater. It's not it's a, a robe. cardigan. You know what it reminds me <laughs> of? It reminds me of the the story in the Bible where the Joseph, two brothers Joseph with Mar- the coat of many Mike? colors. The coat of many colors. It's <laughs> one of them Saint Michael. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's one of them. Come on, Saint come on. Michael, that Saint Michael fell down and he became the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick me. <laughs> That's the story. No, yeah. this is this is one of my Instagram crafts. Not gonna <gasps> lie. <laughs> I bought an Instagram thing today. Wow. This one panned out. You want to know oh what I God. bought? What'd you I buy? bought a mug. And it has a bunch of different birds on it. Okay. okay? And it has this species name of it. And I only bought it because there was a blue footed booby on it. Uh-huh. And I was just like, how funny is that? Like, I would just be walking around and with a cup that says booby. <laughs> but no one knows. Yeah. But no one knows. I don't know. But that, me. I really liked it. That's, That's good shit. Good. That's good. Instagram has been getting me a lot recently. And it's well, bad. Yeah, we're it's trying to do Yeah. I wonder. Well, we got that we've cool got, lamp. I know. It's, but I'm, it's bad. I'm spending too much money on while well, I'm trying to yeah. relax. Well, we're trying yeah. to. Uh, we were advertising on Instagram for oh, Reptile Army. I didn't know So that. I don't know how yeah. it's going yet. I haven't talked to Steph about the analytics, but uh, hopefully people are getting served up and are going to get suckered into buying some stuff. <laughs> and then we're going <laughs> to help the cause, baby. Gonna, help uh, the cause. We need it, man. We're going to be practicing making some good skits for that, too. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I we've got, talked about I, a couple. Uh, yeah, I got a couple ideas, too, that I think would be really good for ads did you hear about the new uh i told jay about this there's again this is why you know supporting you know us arc and something like that um there's another proposed ban in north carolina for animal education shows like why would they ever yeah you can see right here the alert is in north carolina it's called the uh, north carolina animal program ban and, so it, and it's about panic. Like, wh- who thinks of that's a good idea? Go after, right. Like, like who thinks like, education who does that program? help? Who does yeah, that like help? An animal education program banned. Like, how? Do, who proposes that? Or yeah. Who, who even Can we says see? That's okay. Is there's there's got to be names and shit that like people who are passing these laws, right? Like, is isn't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is yeah, there, yeah. There's who usually, are the there's names usually a sponsor, to yeah, to it. I don't know who the sponsor is. But, like, who uh, are the people coming up Bill with the sponsor right ideas. here. Representative Ball, Harrison, John, Fisher, Hunt, and, wow, Insco. So there's, what, five? Yeah, four, five. Five six. people that have, have pr- proposed it. That's not good because usually on a committee there's eleven people. So if half the committee has proposed the law, it's going to be really difficult. It means you're going to have to get the other six people to, to vote, vote it. against it just, in order for it to not pass the the committee. That's just so ignorant. It's yeah. just so ignorant. And then you're making rules upon your ignorance. Yeah. You're not just sulking in your own ignorance and your own beliefs. You're affecting the world around you yeah. with your lack of knowledge. Yeah. It's yeah. like that's fucked up, and you're in a position of power. I mean, that's what our government is, the and that's why you need to vote, right? Well, and the sad thing is, right? You have to be involved. You have to make your voices heard because people and organizations like PETA and stuff like that mm-hmm. are the ones coming up with these 
bills and with these bands well, yeah, happening and helping them. put them into play by getting in contact with their people, getting them to side with them and stuff like well, what's that. What's happening is they're paying for their campaign. They're paying, they're, they're spending money on their campaigns. Yep. And basically when they yep. get elected, they're saying, Hey, remember when we gave you $10,000? Now we want you to propose this particular ban. And of course it's like, that's the way politics work right now. Special interests. And it's interesting. You know, that's a way a lot of things work. You know, they're simply yeah, just money. effective networkers, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you can do the same thing. We had this conversation earlier about in the show business, someone with necessarily lesser talent or whatever you want to call it can make it further if they are brilliant at networking. Yeah, well, right. Yeah, it's all about it's the same you know, thing so. because this idea is not a good idea, but yeah. you see how far it became, yeah. how far it's gotten because of the people knowing people. Yeah. Well, it was interesting. I, I saw this thing today on, you know, this real wealthy guy, billionaire talked about how, you know, making your first million dollars is very, very difficult, mm -hmm. but making your second million is not hard at all. Sure. And he said, because once you become a millionaire, mm -hmm. you're now the person that you need to be to make lots of money. And what he meant by that was that you need to be, you know, like honest, have integrity. You need to have relationships. Yep. You have to build the network of who you are in order to get to that first million. And then once you're that person, the next million, two million, five million, ten million just comes your way. So it's similar to what you're saying. Mm. It's like, it's you know, you build, you build a, you know, you build, you know, you know, someone that doesn't have what it takes to be a millionaire is never going to be a millionaire. But when you learn to become a millionaire, then you can make multi millions of dollars because you, you, your whole mindset has changed. And usually it has to do with, you know, yeah, you're, you know, believing in the things that you're doing, not doing them just for money. Number two, having the right connections and, and, and relationships mm -hmm. and, 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 and being, you know, having the integrity to keep those relationships. So, so yeah, it's interesting, which I still am pretty bitter. I'm not going to lie about what, about the fact that if you, uh, just by happenstance, um, uh, I saw that, uh, I can't even remember what I was Googling, but somehow my name came up and it, it was like net worth. Oh no. And my net worth is, is like a third of yours. <laughs> yeah, and I'm bitter and about it that. Should it's be. bullshit. It should be because it is. It's, <laughs> it's more of a six. They're it's, doing you justice. It's reality. Yeah. I don't <laughs> have any joys. I'm sorry. And plus, it's, it's, <laughs> maybe also what it is is it, in, it includes your age. Maybe they they're like know. he doesn't have that much time left. He yeah, doesn't he need doesn't, as much his money. Potential yeah. is half done. that's gonna go to Medicare right. anyway. Just like give give his kid half his money. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. gonna live a lot longer than than his dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so yeah. Yeah. Woo. Uh, I'm mean, fine right with now. it. <laughs> I don't mind. What's don't Lori's mind. network? Can we can we punch up Lori? And as, as soon as you punch up Lori, you're gonna see bodybuilder. Oh. But uh, uh, Lori Barchek's net worth. I'm curious. There it is. Right, the second one down. Yeah. Let's see what she's working with. Four milli. <laughs> wow, she's fucking. Right. It's not even her. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. <laughs> She is so now, now punch mine up. Okay, so she's got four milli. Oh, no. Noah, I think, has 4.5 mil. I think I'm more than that. Don't undercut okay, me I'm there. I'm sorry. Come on, no. Network. Come on, now. <laughs> All right. So I, ah, I'm on you broke four. bitch. Broke. You broke ass bitch. <laughs> You're <Damn>. broke. <laughs> Wow, so dude, you I'm going to hang money. out with Noah more. Yeah, what the yeah, hell, it used, to, it used to be 1.5. I lost money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go on the opposite. I I went the other Lori, way. Yeah. They obviously know. something happened. They know what now, they know. Now, let's see me, just for fun. Yeah, if we're going to do no, both, yeah. now we have to see me. Yeah, I got to do this. Yeah. Come on. Uh, give me the gun, the money. 1.5. Yeah. What the fuck? So, wait oh, a wait. second. Wait a second. No, no, this is the one we've seen. We've seen this one once. That one says 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the I like easy. this one better. <laughs> this one says I am a fifty millionaire. Fifty milli? Hell yeah! Is do am I on this website? Because I like this website. <laughs> YouTube star, twenty one years old. What the fuck does it say? That why does it say? Does Noah Barchek dead or alive? Like does Noah Barchek dead or alive? It says, That's the best part. I know, it does says, Noah it Barchek you, dead or alive? It tells you the reality. But it does say it, according to their data, you're alive still. Oh, yeah, thank I God. Oh my God, thank, thank God. God. But that's updated as of May 10th, 2020. So yeah, and that's, know, that's before that's, COVID. That's so before, we, that's like around when COVID was going. Yeah, so, so no one knows. We're not really sure if you are that's or not. Beautiful. We'll keep you guys in tune. Fifty milli, man. I'm I'm like, bro, can I borrow jump some money? Oh, jump change Barchek? I could buy a rocket. Yeah, and yeah, go to space. At least a small one. Guess who's small buying one. the boat? 
Yeah, no <laughs> about, yeah. No, I'm yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm running up on yeah. some financial Guess things. Who's paying, <laughs> who's paying rent? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Baller Boy. I, I, I need some money, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty poor <laughs> over here. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, good yeah. thing there's James a, Smith hooked it up. Yeah, and there's right. a good thing there's this river oh, yeah, James, separating James, us. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, poor yeah. from the poor. Poppers. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, if you give me, can I just get a pizza with some meat? No, take it away from me. Get the hell out of here. Cheese only. I'll eat the cheese pizza. Just please, mister. All right, with <laughs> sauce, on, sauce on bread is all you're getting. <laughs> James Jake. Smith says, uh, hey, family, long time no uh, super. Uh, hey, James. Hey, Lori, we just got a cricket maker. Uh, for one, uh, for our oh, online yeah. biz, do you yeah. have any experience using it? If so, yeah, any she suggestions? Does. She does. She does help them um, out. Yes, yeah, man. She's got. <laughs> I, I'm not the best. <laughs> with it. Um, I haven't spent a whole lot of time researching it. It's not hard, and everything you need to know pretty much you can find on online and YouTube. Yeah, Jay the Entertainer uh, yes. and my daughter Jade are very exactly. good at it. Yeah, they're really they, good at it. And they have put the time into learning how to do a lot of stuff like that. Um, I just, you know, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of spare time, yeah. so I've. Barely figured out what I needed to do, what I needed to do. But I think it's fairly simple, though. It seems like you would just like throw something into the program, connect your printer. I actually don't know. I've never you even don't know with it. at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it's not hard. It's just it's just like anything. <laughs> just you just have capacitor. to know, wh- yeah. you know what I mean, what buttons to push and stuff yeah. like that, and you know yeah. how to save things and stuff. Yeah. Uh, which again is a super easy Google. Yeah, Lori's um, good at pushing buttons. And what <laughs> should do after that is have fun. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can make. She <laughs> push that button. <laughs> she put those buttons. <laughs> but, uh, buddy Jeremy Brassman Jeremy, Reptile up, says, man? "Hey, Bow Check fam, hope everything is uh, everyone is doing well. Well, we, we are. are doing well. Thank hope you, Jeremy. We're you. doing good. Brian's staying on that side. And of the river. Fine. Yeah, the, yep. we're, yeah, we're broke the, the broke side. The broke side. <laughs> I don't even get anyone to sit next to no. me. <laughs> I can't no. even afford Actually, somebody no. next to me. Could you put your mask on? Yeah, your your broke ass breath." Stinking up the room. Yeah, it's stinking up. <laughs> Smells like one dollar bills. <laughs> Soul is honky. Oh, says hi, everyone. Just sending love. What's up, Soul? Hey, been Soul. A while, Appreciate man. you, bro. Been a while, I missed that honky. Simple man. Welcome Simple back. man. He threw twenty to say, "Have you ever thought about getting a dragon snake? Maybe once it's been captive bred." Just saw it the other day. It's yeah, crazy. I've, I've talked about it before. That yeah. the captive bred part is going to be the the key in that one because they all die. You know, so mm. it's, it's someone hopefully will either crack it and, and produce, which is doubtful, or maybe there'll be an imported female that's gravid that lays eggs yeah. that, that actually hatches. And then, but I'm assuming because an adult dragon snake is like a fuzzy eater at best. I mean, they eat fish and they, you know, other like slugs yeah. and stuff like that. But if they were to eat rodents, they would eat fuzzies mm. as, as an adult. So as a baby, I don't know what you would feed Eating it. ticks You know, shit. you would be what feeding What are those you know, little pinky pinkies? No, they'd be bugs. way too. Yeah, I mean, those I, are too big. Those yeah, oh, things. way too big for those. I mean, I would assume this, they would be like garter snake size. Oh, like eating more, you know, like yeah, shit, e- yeah, eating probably guppies or something like that. But I just guppies. don't think that. I, I mean, I don't want to be pessimistic about this one, but I don't think the dra- dragon snake is ever going to work out at all. <sighs> period. In cat in the captive world, he heard it. You know, because they all die. Every single person I know, tons of people that got them. No one had them a lot, and I know people like Ben. You know, our friend, local friend, um, he had one, and, and he had video of it crushing fish, and it died. Mm. You know, and, and that was crushing food, you know. So uh, they're they're a very touchy animal, very doubtful that people will ever produce them, I think. But uh, but if they do, I just hope that they can, and maybe they will do better in captivity. But I won't play with them. I'm kind of a, I'm just not a fan of, like, taking such incredibly cool snakes out of the wild, knowing that 99% of them are going to die. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That makes you sense. Know, I just don't like that, you know? Yeah. North's Morphs. What's up, baby? Says back here to show some love. Happy, or I, it says happy nightmares. I'm guessing had nightmares last night after watching the George Stiletti podcast at 3 a.m. Also, George Lori Stiletti. is ripped. Wait, George, George, George Stiletti. Stiletti. Who is that? Oh, Stiletti. That's, that's you, you, uh, the George Chronicles. Oh, okay, okay. The George Chronicles. I knew it sounded so familiar. I was like. So, yeah, it was spelled a little weird, but but we never had spelled yeah, it. Yeah, so. the. Um, it's Stiletti instead of Stiletti, but I know, no yeah. one would know that. It's because been a long more. time. Yeah, we haven't talked much about the George Chronicles. Yeah, that's crazy. But um, Maybe but yeah, so yeah, there's. Trust well, me, I still have nightmares about the George Chronicles. <laughs> I, know, I lived through them. It is crazy. There were some really crazy stories in there. Um, yeah. Maybe we yeah. revisit it sometime. Maybe again. Maybe again. I was watching Ghost Adventures last night. You know, that's usual. Yeah, that's as per usual. 
And but, I like uh, it. You know, I love that ghost stuff. I don't know why. It's so it's so interesting to me. Just because yeah. it's something like it's just like COVID, where like you can't see it, but you th- it's real. Yeah. Or like <laughs> no, it's, it's not supposed it's to be real. Not real. The well, COVID's idiot. real. Yeah. But like the ghosts and stuff, now. like it's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because obviously yeah. we can't see it. Yeah. And that's why people don't believe COVID is real is because you literally can't see it, you know? Yeah. I and think, so... Yeah, the ghost thing's weird, ghost. too, because we know people that, like, fake it on inter- the internet. We know people that fake it, but also we have had our experiences yeah. in real life with our own bodies and our own eyes and our own ears that make us question. All right, so let me ask both of you this. More probable than unprobable... Okay. Ghosts versus aliens. Ghosts. Well, hundred percent ghosts. So you believe okay, in ghosts so wait, more than aliens? Refine the question. All right. So, so UFOs visiting the United okay. States. Okay. So ghosts. ghosts or UFOs that have visited the, the Earth. Ghosts. Well, I'm gonna say ghosts well, or ghosts slash mm. spirits, whatever you want to call it, because mm-hmm. just like you said, I've experienced stuff yeah yeah i haven't ever experienced aliens or beings what if it's the same but what if me, it's the same i don't believe well, so what are you doing like you're throwing out their, no what i'm saying is question. what if the aliens are just interdimensional <laughs> beings that are actually feel like ghosts well, and they shape shift into your you're relatives. throwing a different thing yeah. in the in the equation it's a unique uh, perspective just, that i think has value and merit yes the, so but the thing is is that i actually think they're both real and and I think it's possible for aliens to visit Earth because the fact that we here on Earth are developing that warp drive. Yeah. Which perfectly makes sense when you get it described out to you. And so if we can develop that here, yeah, it only makes sense that... Because, uh, as you know, we only can see our observable universe, yes. okay? And as so far, we haven't found life. But little do some people know that our... There is actually way more to our universe than just the observable universe. Uh, Think of our universe as a horizon, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the way you can look at it, you know how, you know, light curves, all right? So so we can only see so far Mm -hmm. because of the... uh, The Because of the horizon of of our, our our universe. So really... It makes sense for there to be more life, and if they develop the warp drive, I mean, it's fucking possible for them to visit us. I actually did see, I just today, Jay had told me about it last week, I believe, or whenever it was, about the triangle yeah. uh, UFO. I saw it today on, on, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. where the, so, so apparently, I think you guys know that the, the government in, in the COVID relief bill... <laughs> Passed that in within six months, they the government had to release all UFO information, which I find very interesting. That yeah, in the COVID release bill, so sometime in June they are having a briefing to Congress about all they know about UFOs. And to be real, and dude, so, if you think of like the amount of stuff I've seen in the last like two weeks on like extraterrestrial shit, stuff, it yeah. seems like floodgates are opening. I don't yeah, know if that means like they're yeah, like means, preemptively but, letting some things out. But the government basically said that this. Triangle UFO was filmed by the Navy, but they aren't, and they say it's not ours, but they're not saying what it is. You know, so there's another one. So there's been a bunch of of UFO stuff that's been released by our government, our own government, yeah. and they're coming out and saying, yeah, that that was ours. Mm-hmm. You I think know, it's but possible. we don't know what it is. I think it's possible, but that doesn't mean that it's real. I right. agree. There's a difference. Uh, because obviously we have the science to prove that it's possible to fucking travel now without wasting hundreds of thousands of years or well, I millions think that, of years. Well, so I think from a science space. standpoint, there might be more validity to aliens than yeah, ghosts. for sure. Because there's really no science behind ghosts. No. There's experiences, but there's zero science behind it, really, right? None. Zero. Uh, I mean, like the EMFs, that you can't explain tough. anything like that. Every All the equipment they use is like, you know, could so be So where are you explained. saying the science is with? Well, what Noah said is, it, is if, if we have an, if, oh. if we can develop a warp drive and in the next 10 yes. years, we'll probably be able to use that warp drive to get to, to maybe interstellar, you know, travel. travel. That means that we just have a, had a civilization that's only 10 years older than us and they've already had that probably. 
You see what I'm saying? You know, like they said in the next 10 years, and, and I mean, I think we can all agree this is true. The next 10 years, we will advance further in the next 10 years than we have in the last hundred. Well, the, our entire existence. And it's yeah. only just going to keep multiplying. Yeah. So I think in 10, 10 years, years we now. will be able to, to oh, yeah. get to Mars in, in t- 20 snap. minutes. Yeah. The, oh. uh, it's just, it, and it's not impossible because it, it's hard Okay, it's, it wouldn't be easy for aliens to find us. You got to remember that because it's not like we are this huge thing in the map. No, we're actually a very, uh, there's this book by uh, Carl Sagan. It's just the pale blue dot. Mm-hmm. And that's practically what we are, even less than. And yeah. yes, we submit a lot of extra waves, right? Like we have... For example, high fr- radio frequency, mm-hmm. high radio waves and stuff because right. uh, of all of our technology that we develop. But at the same time, let's say that an alien notices our our radio waves, all right? They may just put it to the side thinking that we are just a unique planet that has a r- strange frequency and they don't even uh, pay attention to it. Really. And you have to remember too, that our so fr- to radio it. frequencies have only been going out for what, a hundred years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So they're still traveling. So, so they can't be warp drive. So they will literally, unless they're a hundred light years away, they'll won't see it yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. And, there, and, and there's so many things yeah, to it. I mean, they're closest, uh, you know, uh, star system is, is hundreds of millions of years and away. Some so. Torah. And so yeah. are pretty much the only way that I think is possible is that if this alien civilization has developed a technology to uh, read life in the universe, okay? So so that they can basically have this map in their hand or wherever. Like, let's say they have their phone, and they have a phone, and then they can pull up the universe, and they have learned how to tell if a planet has life or not. Uh, different than what we do, because we can tell... But it's still iffy. Like we're not perfect on it, right? Well, yeah, but we're again. It, yeah, it's it's all and about. So, is they have to be more advanced than we are. That's. I mean, that's where the bottom line is. That is there. Hmm. Is there? I just this, don't is, know this, this is the, this is the que- this is the question. Or the simple que- simple question is: Can a society live long enough to develop the technology to do all these things, or will they destroy themselves like we will? You know, you know what I mean? Well, I think, isn't that the whole thing? And that's why everybody's afraid of aliens coming and taking over Earth because that's the stigma. Exactly. And now they're looking for a new planet because they have ultimately destroyed Earth. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Uh, possible. It's possible. It's possible. possible. Who knows? I guess that's possible. But at the same time, when we're sending people to the moon, we're not sending them to destroy the moon. We're sending them to investigate and explore. Yeah, But we are trying to colonize Mars, right? Yeah. So if we had another planet that was more Earth-like, we wouldn't go co- try to colonize that. It's, I mean, we've done it on our own planet. You yeah. You know, like gone from a landmass to another landmass yeah. and colonized the whole. Name so, but thing. that's that's where we're at. So, anyways, moving on. Lori's about to go to sleep. <laughs> Scottish Rob says, uh, "So much about money is knowing how to have your money make money for you. Best of yeah. all." Or best yeah. to all of you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's game absolutely game. true. You know, I mean, there's no doubt about that, you know, and there's a lot of different philosophies behind how to do that, but, uh, and not all work. And it's true. When you have more money, it's easy to make more money. Well, yeah, when you have money, it's opportunities. You know, when something comes up that you go, oh, shit, I, got, I can buy this or I can invest in this now. If you have, if you don't have money, it's very hard to make money. We've been, in, we've been in all those situations. We've been broke. We've been, we're not, we're far from rich, but you know what I mean? We've had money and we've been broke and we know it all. And you I know, think that's an in both important part to keep preaching to the people because I'm sure there's people out there that have dreams but have no hope. Yeah. And and to and I maybe guess. can relate to your guys' previous situations uh in there now. Okay. Yeah. And you know, it can give motivation and it can Well, that's what we always talk about trying to stuff. inspire people because, you know, you can if you follow your dreams and work thing. hard, you can get to where you need to be, you know. That's the most important thing to me. It well Obviously, that's not true because I don't know what the most important thing to me is. But what I should say is it's a very important thing to me is to inspire others because I think that this world is so unique and so weird that the least we can do is strive for our our dreams and inspire others while doing so. Yeah, well, that's what we try to do every day, right? And that's what we do. Uh, Mama Tomsky says, uh, Dearest Brian, what you have created with Reptile Army is a stand-up thing uh, to do. Love that 10% of the proceeds go to U.S. Arc. Amazing. Dang. Well, thank you. I mean, I hope that um, 
I hope that the, the movement is, you know, obviously there's a, a financial component to it, obviously, but it's like we always talk about, you know, like when we make money, it's not like we're just lining our pockets to, to go get blow and, and, yeah, and get, Lambos, you know, get you know? Lambos and stuff <laughs> like that. All our money really goes back into, you know, the business, goes back into growth, goes back into everything. Are you okay, Lori? Because literally you are just so zoned out. I, <laughs> I mean, like you, you literally, I don't even know if you're listening to what we're saying. I am listening. <laughs> you're like staring into the abyss, but... Anyways, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. The no, the uh, I think it's a good thing because honestly, it's not only just merch for fans. Mm -hmm. It's also it's gonna sh shed light to the reptile community. Well, that's what, that's what the idea behind it is, right? Is that yeah. people say, "Oh wow, what a cool shirt!" And then those people hopefully will yeah. be able to talk to people about how. Yeah, well, you know what? I keep reptiles. They're really cool. Blah blah. blah whatever you know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and that's why we call it the army, right? Is we want everyone to be the infantry, you know, infantry, mm. um, and to be out there, you know, spreading the love, you know, that's what it's about. And especially, and, and you know, the money we make, will just go back into more education. It's not like stuff, we're going to yeah. go into buying a, a, a new car, you know, it's not it's how it only going to help because I mean, as you can tell over this past year or so, it seems, and I'm sure it's happened way longer, but in my, in my just observing of it this last year, a lot of BS laws have been. No, it's been the be last. Passed. This has three been months. Crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. been the last three months. It, and it hasn't been the last year. It's been the last three months. You know. And so this is only going to help build a strong community. Well, and that's the thing. Not only are we going to donate. Uh, not only are we going to donate to US Arc, but hopefully by us donating to US Arc, other people will come up with other ideas that helps donate to US Arc. That just because it's it's really a matter of money. Yes. You know. Period. You know. We're we're it's a David and Goliath, right? I mean, like. Y Literally, the budget, the entire gross that U.S. Arc makes for the whole year is less than the postal budget for HSUS. Yep. The postal budget, just for them sending out pamphlets, mm. is a higher budget than what U.S. Arc makes gross. Mm -hmm. So how can we fight that? You yeah, know it, what I mean? It's ridiculous. So, it's crazy. so it is all about generating money and awareness and, 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 you know, really Phil Goss, who's the president that does a great job. He is still just one person. He needs a whole army of people that are behind him doing what he says and helping him and so like that. And that's, I'm, I hope that we're doing stuff, you know, that will, will help in that sense. Uh, Let Roses Burns says, uh, any news on sale fins? Uh, we all, well, my buddy Rob uh, has eggs. And if they hatch, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's if right. they hatch, we're getting them. Yeah, that'd oh, that'd be sweet. sweet. Uh, Stephanie says you should watch Nukes top five on YouTube. Great ghost stuff. Oh, mm. okay. I have I'll not seen it. Never, yeah, yeah, I've never, never heard, heard of it either. Yeah, definitely do that. Uh, Simple man says, "Hey, Lori, what is your favorite experience out of the country or in the U.S.?" There you go. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of hard and broad. Um, out of the country. There's only there have been too many places. <clears throat> you have. You've definitely been to a lot and a lot of places. You've been to Australia, you've been to Italy, you've been to Mexico, you've yeah. been to China. You've been all over the yeah, world. China, yeah. China. China. Okay, I guess I yeah, yeah. You have. You're just <laughs> She's like, I haven't been to Mars yet. You must be tired. Come on or something. <laughs> yeah. You're just tired. I am tired. I know. So I, I I'm just gonna answer for you. Italy, obviously. It's well, all I you guess, talk about. I, yeah, I guess it's hard, but I didn't want to just defer to that. But yes, I mean, going to Italy was pretty amazing because it was on my bucket list. Yeah, and hopefully um, we can go back. I mean, I, I you know, obviously I, I still stay in touch with Gabe, and and um, he's always like, you got to come back, you got to come back. I mean, as soon as, you know, it's safe for us to travel and it's, you know, back to normal, that's, that's high, high, high on my list to go back. And I'd like to go back in a little bit better weather. Rome was nice. What time of year did you guys go? We went in January. January. Jan yeah. Okay, so, so it was cold. Winter. 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 Sure. We got lucky, though, because yeah. the weather yeah. for when we were there was relatively mild. For the season, well, right? Um, Rome was, yeah. was nice. Yeah, for the season, Rome was nice. It was like in the 50s. Milan in, 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 uh, um, in Venice was freaking cold. It was cold. It did not snow. It, no, it wasn't cold. <laughs> it was worst, 17 degrees in Venice. The worst. Mm. It wasn't that It was, cold. I remember, it was 17 <laughs> degrees. I remember. I, I don't remember feeling cold. <laughs> it was freezing in Venice. <laughs> it was amazing. Maybe you were too busy thinking about being cold. I was looking around going, oh my God, this place no, is No, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I thought but the it worst was weather cold. was in uh, Florence. Milan? 
No, Florence wasn't even that bad. It yes, rained, it, but it yeah. wasn't that cold. It was raining. It was like in the forties. It was in the it was rainy, wow. but in the forties. Yeah. yeah, but raining and wet <laughs> is like worse than cold. I and think dry. your mom just has a weird memory because because <laughs> it was cold as hell maybe. in Milan and it was cold as hell in Venice. Or maybe but you. then when we were down in Rome and and no, because I that? you know me, I what know about that. You know my memory. Well, it's like I remember. I know you everything. have memories. <laughs> I know. But what if what if they're wrong? Do you ever think about that though? It's never possible. Never possible. <laughs> no, never only been. my memories are wrong. Not exactly. Yours. <laughs> exactly. Why would I remember seventeen degrees? I, I don't, don't know. know, and there's nobody to prove otherwise. Maybe you just could have been Celsius. Up. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Right. It's very right. very don't, true. Don't, no, no, we're no. not doing this. Okay, okay. We, you, you are January not January two thousand. January two thousand nineteen. <laughs> oh uh, January two thousand nineteen weather in in uh, two thousand nineteen weather in Venice. If, if something pops up, that's just stupid. Why are they going to keep this record? I know. Let's see. What it's the definitely a record. Here. Let's see. January right there. Minus four, which are is, I sure? don't know what the, uh, <laughs> I don't know the conversion. Route. I don't know what the conversion route is. It's about but. three for every one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. Uh, yeah, these are just so a bunch of different graphs. So basically, you're gonna look until you see the answer you like, <laughs> exactly. and then be like, see, uh, I see, called you. It's like all I do that to Maria all the time yeah. too. Though. That's yeah, the best. No, you start looking on Google until you find the answer. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, all right, yep, and, see. Uh, and that's the way Google works. Porcupines have gills. You can find any answer that you want. <laughs> yeah, there that you was a uh, my mom's big thing in high school. I used to do that a lot. What? I don't know. I would just have crazy. I think I would just have crazy opinions on things or crazy <laughs> views on things, and then. And then you would pull up a uh, article that said uh, the contrary to my beliefs. And then you'd be like, see, it's not the way you think. <laughs> I remember that happening like at least five or six times in high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely did happen. I'm sure. Same thing with the 17 degrees, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silver Cash sure says, was. I'm stuck working tonight. I'll catch up after work. Have an awesome night. Well, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. Enjoy some, get some pizzas out I'm there. Spank that silver ass. Ooh. Ooh. Johnny Damn. Novels <laughs> says, Brian, as a father, how have you pursued your dreams and putting an equal amount of time into kids, yeah. helping them discover and pursue their dreams? As a father musician, I find it to be impossible. Well, you know, I, I'll be, you know, I'll be, I've always been very honest about this. I think I did a really terrible job up until a handful of years ago. You know, I think that, you know, I was very much weighted towards work and not being around as a father like I should. And it wasn't until Noah was in his, you know, teens, you know, maybe 15, 16 years old that I realized that I didn't even have much of a relationship with Noah because, you know, whereas I had a, a, a different relationship with our daughter because when she was younger, they're eight years apart. So when she was younger, I, I wasn't as busy. But by the time Noah was born, I was full on just working day and night, seven days a week, thinking that that was the right thing to do. But I, I, I realized several years ago how different that was and that's, that's when huge, me and Laura, me and Noah in particular you know just had you know developed the, our relationship and now we spend all kinds of time together um and, and I couldn't imagine life without him but you know being around all the time but um but no I mean it's, it is a very it's, difficult thing it's yeah. a tough thing because as a father a lot of times you think your job is to make money and be be the, mm -hmm. the, the breadwinner the breadwinner right. but the truth is is that all that doesn't fucking matter if if you you know don't have a relationship you know <laughs> exactly, so dude. so mm -hmm. now that that's you know always you know i mean it's it's a it's a it's something that's achievable because like i said now we spend time mm -hmm. together you know as a family you know whereas before we didn't and it's a know? big thing like it's a huge thing and it's just it's another reason why i'm not outwardly looking for a relationship is because obviously i get the passion for wanting to do my work from you guys and dad in particular because like i know you like are different than dad in many ways and you know that dad you are super work obsessive yeah which can be great for some things and can be a hindrance in others yeah but why i'm saying this is because i'm waiting because I want to do the same thing that you did with your BHB and stuff, but with my life. Yeah. I want to work extremely hard and achieve great things, but I don't want to sacrifice family time either. You no. know what I mean? No, it's so tough, yeah. I want to, I want to wait a little bit. Yeah. And you're right. That guy is right. It, the way I see it, it almost is impossible. It, is, yeah. it almost is impossible. It's not, it's but hard. It's, it's, it's hard. It's super hard. It's super hard. It's it takes a tremendous amount of discipline to to not 
say, okay, I can't, you know, I mean, like yeah, I'm, I'm, you I know, I miss imagine. so many things, you know, in your school days or whatever, you know, when I would just be like, oh, sorry, I got to work tonight. And my, Lori would always go and be there. And, and, and I wasn't, and, um, you know, looking back, you go, shit, that was a mistake. You know what I mean? But you can't change the past. All you can do is do what you do for the future. So it, right. it is very difficult if you're motivated and you're trying to do things to, to somehow. But at the same time, you know, at some point, and maybe it's easier when you become more successful to have more, um, you know, more levity in that this sense. But you can all of a sudden say, I, I can sacrifice because this mm -hmm. is important. This is important to spend time with the family. This is important to have this, whatever the case may be. And, um, and, 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 you know, it's probably harder when you're trying to start a business and, and, and find yourself, um, you know, and we're fortunately at that stage in our life now where even though we may work harder than we've ever worked, we also can, can carve time out for right. ourselves. And one thing yeah. I'll even say to you, I have no experience. I have no kids, but this is the only thing I'm saying is that like, you're saying you want to be a musician. There's going to be some sacrifice, right? Yeah. But like you can, you don't have to like go on tour and be away from your family six months out of the year, every year or the whole year. There's other avenues with music you can use to make money and be home with your kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you could find a million things to yeah. do. It is. It's doable. It's not easy, but it is doable. It's fucking hard too, because I remember even just having a fucking girlfriend <laughs> soaks up so much time. Yeah. Okay. And and you don't even have to take care of her or, yeah, or miss her for steps yeah. or something. You don't, you yeah, don't have yeah. to take care of her. You don't have to feed her. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? She can feed herself if she's hungry. With a child, it is useless. You put it in the middle of the street, it dies. Yeah. You, it is useless. <laughs> so don't true, do that. No, don't. Yeah, don't try that <laughs> But at if home. you did, it would die. Yeah. So, like, I can't even imagine, <laughs> and I try not to because I don't even want that fucking shit. And that's a big part why I'm celibate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's because the one way to prevent it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so herpes too. Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm so serious. Just don't get that COVID vaccine. I'm a fucking dude. Of course, I want to do dirty things, but the fear of a child keeps me away from it, mm. and mm. the passion for my dreams keeps me away from it. Yeah. Well, as long as your dreams don't get in the way of of if if you know having a family is important and it is yeah. so such a great thing, you know, you, like I think Jade you know, was great with that. She's like, Hey, by the time I'm 30, I want to have kids. But until then I want to create my career and I want to do whatever. Same thing. You know, and that's the same thing. If you spend the next eight, nine years, you know, working on your career, not worrying about family, then that's fine. And you still are young enough. I mean, we were 20, mm -hmm. I was 28 when, when we had Noah. So, you know, I mean, you know, yeah. so, and, and I'm still a, wait, are you sure? No, he was no, older than 30? that. 30? I think you were 32. Wait a yeah. second. Yeah, you were third. No, I was 30. I was 30, 30 on the okay. road because I'm, okay. yeah, because I'm yeah, 51, right. you're 21. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, math. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Math is that's value. value. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, value. easy. I think, yeah, I think that's the thing, right? There's no wrong, right or wrong for anybody. You no. You got to decide what's right for you. And if you yeah. worked a career and totally. didn't decide until you were 40 or even 50. Yeah, look at you your wanted sister. to do yeah, whatever. Yeah, we know the people, like, same thing. Yeah. yeah, so it's like you do you. And then when you have it like that, you know what? You you do the best you can do. You know That's what? Right. It matters to you enough to where you're thinking about it. You'll make the time to be there for the moments that matter and in that's what you just, you're just going to have to weigh, you know, yep. sometimes you do yeah. this, sometimes you do this, no. be there when you need to for, for whatever. And those are making the right choices. I would say all, you know, do internal deliberation. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. understand, yeah. you know, have, have these conversations with yourself about important, about your, how you feel inside. Right. What is more important? I'm blanking on the word. It's a very common term that they people always say, oh, what's more important to you? And then they there's like a list. It's like a list of like importance, yeah. like, okay, food, yeah. family. Other thing. I'm <laughs> I, I can't think of it either. I don't know, I don't know why actually. I'm blanking on the word, but usually... Prioritize. Yes, oh, exactly. Okay, okay. There you go. Yeah. Priorities. You know, you have to have your priorities, and sometimes you need to deliberate yep. to find it. Uh, simple man says know. you are okay. you all are awesome. I hope you all have a great night. I hope you well, have Mr. a great simple night too. man. You too, man. Yeah, and thanks for you. all your support, man. You're always you're, 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 I love you kill you. it, and man. that's it on supers, baby. Yeah, though no, you guys are great. Thank so you. yeah, I mean it was a uh, interesting conversation tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All oh, yeah, over the place. Definitely. Uh, also, while we're just having some airtime tomorrow, I am doing my oh, podcast. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's usually important. it's on Fridays, 
but we are doing it on Thursday. Do you think it's going to always be on Thursday now, or is it just no. just tomorrow? Just tomorrow, and it, it's going to be... So it used to be set in stone Fridays. Yeah. But with me having more comedians and more guests on, uh, I found out that, you know, people have varying schedules, of course. We're not all the same. Sure. So some people can't do Fridays. Some people can't do Thursdays. So we may even have to do a so Sunday. Just, or yeah, just turn those post notifications on. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Hit so that bell, baby. Turn the post notifications on so you know when we go live. And it is a lot. It is a good. It is really a good podcast. I mean, it really is. I, I mean, the last I couple of weeks, it's it's been really good having a guest on. Not that you weren't good before, but I think no, yeah, it's, it's neat because it's no, it's no, it's it's cool, you know, because you're bringing a completely different mood to it you know and um and i think it's cool that you're you're helping the 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 comedy scene here in detroit being a right. part of the it. comedy scene i think it's awesome and i think it's uh i think it could be something really cool so yeah definitely please tune in tomorrow for that for sure yeah, i got so one more real so quick yeah you want me to hit this real yeah, quick let's do it yeah. uh, johnny novel says i appreciate that i just catch myself 50 at 55 hour work weeks plus spending hours in the studio writing when i'm off while also trying to be a good dad oh yeah. so you're part-time then yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize. So, yeah, you're good. You'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, 55? Yeah, Jeez. you're fine, dude. You got lots of time, my man. <laughs> I do that in two days. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's only a day, two days worth yeah, of work. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, no, I wish that 55 hours, again, it's all perspective. I always say, and, and I think, Laura, you would agree with this, like, I remember when I was 25 thinking I was so busy, mm-hmm. thinking, like, I couldn't possibly be busier at 25, and now 26 years later, my 25-year-old self would feel like part-time. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it was like, you didn't do anything, you know, <laughs> because as you, I think you learn, and that goes back to what I was saying about learning how to be a millionaire too. It's like, you learn how to juggle and do a lot of things that like, you know, even with you, Laura, I mean, look at all you do. You do all the book work, you do the colubrid stuff, you do this, you do that. Like you, you, you know, 20 years ago, you probably thought there was no way you could do that. Not that I think you want to do it now. I'm just saying that, you know, you learn how to be busier. You know, mm-hmm. it's like... And keep it, the, if the people, rails on. Yeah, right, yeah. If, like, rails. someone jumped into either one of our lives right now, they would have a nervous breakdown in a week. You know, but we've just, you know, slowly adapted to this insane lifestyle that like you can you know have a million balls in the air and and figure them all out you know and and uh so it is funny i mean i joke around but i'm not kidding when i say 55 hours seems like part-time to me (laughs) you know what i mean i I love it when people are like oh i worked 50 hours last week i'm like (laughs) like really wow you want to feel feel bad double that that's probably what we worked you know what i mean like we're probably 100 hours a week right i mean between what we're doing here and what we do at home we're probably well over 100 hours a week in our schedule oh, and, and then still trying to find that time for uh so so i'm just saying i'm not johnny i'm not saying you're you're a schlep i'm joking about that but but you know it sounded like it no 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 <laughs> I, I i you know i think it's there's uh, more time than you think you have is yeah, i think what you're saying yeah if you really think about you know 24 hours a day seven days a week you know mm-hmm. 55 hours isn't isn't a whole lot yeah i'd time, say on average you know? like yeah 70 to 90 hours a week of work is like what most of us do on average, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's like you think there's 22 hours an extra week that you can spend time with your kids or write yeah. music or whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, but but just keep on plugging away, man. You'll be fine. You'll figure it out, and and you'll uh, you'll get there. Just remember prioritize, like yeah, Noah said. There's a bunch of ways to do it. There is. Yeah. You can, it's you can have something as simple as a fucking binder. Yeah. Like a one of those note binders that you bought me. Yeah, like a planner. Yeah. A yeah. planner. Thank you. A planner. And you just, if you're real patient and you genuinely plan everything out, I notice that I get a lot more done when I have uh, little boxes to check off. Yeah, well, and it feels good, right? When you start the day, I used to do this more. I don't do it as much as I, I used to. I, I really liked that I should get back to it. Where, yeah, you have a list. Oh, yeah. And then you check Every those day. lists off. And when you're, ha- when you're at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and you've checked off 60% of your list, then it doesn't feel so overwhelming. Whereas if you're just kind of rolling, it just feels like, oh my God, I got to do this and this and this. And that's my problem. And I think that's why I've I've dealt with anxiety so much is that I'm replaying a million things over my head over and over and over and over until they're done. And in the meantime, I've, you know, by the time I've done something, I've done it 150 times in my head. And then you got in bed and then you're trying to sleep. Oh my God, I forgot to do this because you you didn't write it down. Yeah, you know what's crazy for me is like Happens I do a lot of stuff like that, especially in the morning. I'll wake up at like say like four or five in the morning, you know, like uh, you know, to go to the bathroom or whatever. Okay. And then I go back to sleep and what happens I start thinking about the vlog. 
like what we're going to vlog, how I going to do it, you know, mm. the ideas. And, and then I sometimes spend like an hour just like, like thinking about like, all right, well, what are we going to vlog today? What are we going to you know, shoot? How am I going to shoot this? Okay. If we do this, if we do that, we do this. And then that's, you, you know, know how I get stink. stop Six. doing that. What's that? Cause that can happen to me. So if I wake up and I really need to pee, Mm -hmm. I will manage to get to the bathroom, pee and flush the toilet and everything without opening my eyes. Yeah. Dude, that's a good move. And yeah. so if you... Is that why there's piss all over the floor? Yeah. All over. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's all fine. over. A, but yeah, I didn't wake but up. Fine. Nasty bathroom. But, but, fine. But, but at least you've slept. It's true. Yeah, it is true. There's piss on the dog. I could just right clean the bathroom <laughs> on my list tomorrow. <laughs> Somehow not why does Zeus all, Why is Zeus all wet? Yeah, yeah. Did you go outside, bud? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice the snake was here. <laughs> All right, just we got Rob. Uh, Rob says, hey, y'all, just catching the end of the cast on my way to work to build some V8s. Much love from Canada. Oh, cool, hey, man. Rob. Thank you, Build man. yourself some V8s. Is that V8 is That's a, a motor or is no. it a juice? Yeah, it's, it's a juice. juice. Should have had a V8. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's tomato a, juice. Wow, man. Does you think he actually crushes the he tomatoes? He builds it. He builds Maybe. them. With he his builds, feet. Or does he build the cans for the, 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 Ooh, the V8 yeah, juice? He sense. does both. He does both. Yeah. He has a farm in his back. Canada. You know, you got Canadians multitask. multitask. They don't have rocks. I didn't know they worked there. in Canada <laughs> anymore. I thought they were off work for the last year. What? Like they just stayed I mean, home. I, you can work if you want. It, we can take solace in the fact that if anybody's had it worse than us, it's been Canada. Yeah, Michigan's I think that, been bad, but Canada's, yeah, Canada's been, been worse. Like, yeah, like you guys can't go outside. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know you like the sun. Yeah, <laughs> we know that your grass hasn't been cut in a year and a half, but you can't go outside. I don't want to see your face yeah. out here unless it's got herpes bumps yeah. on it. That's yeah. a lot, no. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good call. No, back. there is literally. I, I remember Thanks. we're you know I was chatting <laughs> with with uh, Barros and. And and this was this was a long time ago, so it's been you know this was like last year when it was like in the yeah deep. when he was still yeah alive. and they like literally couldn't even go anywhere like you like you literally couldn't leave your they house stop basically for a bit. No yeah, but store. the government was like I think wasn't it like the government was paying like a thousand was or like two thousand dollars a week to every person like hey stay home don't work but here's some money to live <laughs> balling you know? and everyone's just like oh, I guess I don't need a job anymore you know, I know so there was so a comedian that made a joke. Uh, last night talking about how he's making bank off unemployment <laughs> and then so he's just bad. like man I'm making bank off unemployment selling drugs he's like bitch <laughs> I pull up in a Maserati <laughs> it is like, it's the best time ever yeah man. exactly he's yeah, like, I used to only get 300 a week now I get 900 a week <laughs> turns yeah. out I'm bold <laughs> yeah and I use that 900 to buy me some dope and I resell that <laughs> yeah. for 1800 exactly. business times, man time's good man. once you times make that million good, the second million's easier yeah, right? yeah, yeah when good. the COVID goes away people are gonna have to wake back up and go to work again uh oh Oh, hopefully they saved. It'll be a sloppy workforce. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, what, what, what do you mean? I gotta, I gotta leave the house. <laughs> mm -mm. I, haven't had, I haven't been on my PJs in eighteen months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you think is the best way to save? Is is it save ten percent of every dollar you make? I think so. I think the best way financially, especially as a young age, is to start taking whatever that percentage is, 10%, 20%, whatever you decide you can do, take every 10% uh, or 20% of every dollar you make and put it aside. Whether you're putting it into a money market, you're putting it into an IRA, investment, yeah. an IRA, uh, whatever the case is. And, um, and yeah, and, and, mm -hmm. and ultimately, you know, I, I think that the it's, you know, it's tough. You know, I mean, we have some stocks and stuff like that. And, and, and I've been really close to pulling the, 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 you know, trigger on a couple other things, not huge money, but a little bit, you know, get my feet wet in a couple things. <laughs> but, um, but I still think <laughs> I like to have control of our money. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so like if, to me, if you ask me, do you want to buy a stock? I mean, yeah, buying a stock, if it goes up is the easiest money in the world. Right. Because you've done nothing. You've just like, put money in and it goes up. It's like, oh, wow, that was easy. I, I personally would rather have a tangible investment like a real estate or business or something that you control because we know from back when we first entered the stock market way back, you know, 25 years ago that, you know, we donated, we donated to the stock <laughs> yeah, market. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, we picked, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 what, what we knew was the winner of the internet or the, the cell phone <laughs> thing, Nokia, of course, Ooh. you know, I mean, Ooh. Nokia was going to definitely win over Apple or Google. Yeah, duh. No doubt I about mean, it. Duh. We, we knew that. And so, uh, we invested in Nokia and that went really well. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, you know, cause I know I have a Nokia phone right now. Oh wait, this is Apple. Uh oh, yeah, exactly. I thought this was Nokia. Uh, but my point, 
point is, is that you have no control over who wins, right? Oh. And you have no control when the CEO uh, gets busted for, you know, doing crack cocaine, you know what I mean? And then and now stock the company, drops, yeah. The crack company, cocaine. you know, and, and that, that's what's scary about the stock market, you know, not that I say you should stay away from it, uh, but but it's, uh, it's a little scary, whereas I think tangible things. So I think, yeah, take 10 or 20%. Put it into something that is tangible. And and at your age, if you start doing that now, by the time you're 50, you're going to have millions of dollars worth of assets. Millions of dollars worth of assets, even if you're not making millions of dollars a year. You know, because yeah. you're going to have good multiply. times. Yeah, and you're going to have good times. You're going to have a decade that that we like we just passed the decade we passed that if you put you threw a dart at a board and picked a stock you you went up a thousand percent in the last mm. 10 years you know um yeah. you're gonna have that you know so at some point if you have two hundred thousand dollars in a money market uh that's you know gonna ultimately go into some mutual fund or something like yeah. that it's gonna go up a thousand percent so you put 200 in that's worth two million but save don't, some money people but yeah but don't don't yeah i think the problem was with the stimulus as we know, is most people got their fourteen hundred dollars and spent eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, instead of taking and saying, it's like hey, the Amazon put, gift card you get for Christmas, you always yeah, spend more than it. Yeah, it's like instead of taking the fourteen hundred and saying I'm going to put five hundred away and use nine hundred towards what, unless you need it for bills, that's a whole different story. You know what I mean? But a lot of different yeah. stories for sure. Yeah. Uh, but Rick, then Rob came back to say the government just gave the police the power to pull you over for no reason to see wow. why you are out of the house. Holy On shit. the bright side, most of the police department said they were not going to do that. Wow. Could you Seems you like imagine similar. Imagine that. Yeah. Wow. Could you imagine just literally being like, what are you out well, of the house for? I think that's I heard a this. Well, big part of our population. If you're black, that happens here too. It's fair. So. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. No, that is Sadly. true. Sadly. Now it just happened to the white Canadians. Um, yeah. But yeah, could you imagine if like literally you're not allowed? I mean, like that's the thing. I mean, for, for all intents and purposes, even though Michigan has been strict compared to most states, it kind of feels normalish, right? Uh, I mean, there's the yeah. same amount of people on the road. You can go to any store you want. You can go to any restaurant you want. It's got limited numbers. You got to wear a mask. You got to whatever. But but there are places like Canada that you're literally not allowed to go anywhere. Yeah, fuck. And it's that. been 14 months. Hey, enjoy your free health care though. Hope yeah. that worked out for you. Yeah, same thing. I know the UK just came out of lockdown. <laughs> they were locked down for burn. most of the year too. So they burn. couldn't do anything, you know and. That, I mean, so I, I guess, it you know, sucks. yeah, it sucks. Yeah. At least they got recreational weed. <laughs> the whole country. Yeah, the whole country. Gotta yeah. look at the bright side of things. Actually, did you hear that? See, the Democrats just passed uh, the, bill. The, the bill about the, uh, the non criminalize marijuana federally. Yeah. Well, that, now, the so, Republicans may not, but the Democrats did pass it. Well, that's, that's good because, you know, there's a lot of people. That are serving a lot of time for not that much weed. Yeah. Which is so really true. fucked up. Yeah, because you think of the money we could save letting them out. One of my favorite comedians. Oh, wow. Noah, favorite comedian. Can't even remember his fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Ross. Is that yeah, his name? Yeah, yeah. Jeff Ross? Yeah. Jeff Ross is good. So he has this one good bit he posts on 420. He was in a uh, prison. And he was just like. Oh, it sounds like a good guy. <laughs> Stand up. And the punchline of the joke was. I have more weed in my lungs than some of the fucking God damn it. This is why you don't say other comedians bits. <laughs> but basically he was just saying I have more weed in my lungs yeah. than some of the people that are got busted yeah, and convicted, are yeah. convicted that are living in this prison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, had it yeah. in their pocket. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. No, it yeah. is. That, it, that is bit, one but thing. I but I totally <laughs> fucked it up. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, do it yeah, justice. Yeah. No, no, that one didn't it's sound hard to do. Really we not really, gist, but, but go yeah. look it up. And fucking <laughs> Let Roses Burn says, this past Jesus week worked Christ. six days covering my dogs and another groomer's dogs that called in sick. Didn't even know what day it was. Woke up today, but it was a good tired. Well, good. That's what's, well, up. Good for you. That's what's yes. all about. It's good. We could have used Keep you today because Lori uh, groomed our dogs. Yeah, I'm still wet. Oh. She's still wet. That's <laughs> not yeah, fun. That's why she's so tired. Yeah. <laughs> she's, I'm, so, so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> How are you? I worked I'm so and tired. I groomed dogs. Groomed dogs. Yeah. <laughs> not, Lori groomed the groomed dogs. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. But they look good. You did a good job. You that did gets me job. every time. I wasn't even there. Dude, I wish you were. No, you would have died, bro. Yeah, I was in Texas. Tell the story, Jay. So we've heard. So we're all right. I'll tell it real quick. We're in Texas. We want to get hot. Hot dogs from Home Depot. Yeah. Uh, we go up. Best There's the, ever. I mean, so exactly like when you think of like Western Mexican dude, right? Like exactly yeah, yeah. that, right? <laughs> and we go up to him. We're like, hey, we, good morning. And he good goes, morning. I'm so tired. Or no, we were like, good morning. Yeah, yeah, how are yeah, you? Yeah, good morning. Like, how are you? I'm so tired. Yeah, and it was like 12 o'clock. It was not like, even it was 11. Like, yeah, it was it like was 11. Too, I'm too early tired. for hot dogs, too. It was never too early. Siesta time. It was siesta time. I could have breakfast dogs. Hot dog with eggs yeah, yeah. on top oh, yeah, and ketchup. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to know when the it's pandemic is over 
when there's hot dogs at Home Depot. That's right, baby. Mm-hmm. It is sad. It is. It doesn't no. feel right it every doesn't. time no. I go. And people that don't and understand. I look and I'm yeah, like, like me. Why aren't you there? You can be open. Yeah. You should be open. I, I feel sad open. for the people in this world that don't understand what a hot Home Depot hot dog tastes well, like. Well, we should shame them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They should. deserve shaming. Yeah. I don't like yeah. to shame many people. But so actually, if anybody's yeah. out there in other states. I guarantee are, other states are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What states are we got Home Texas, Depot Texas. The hot dogs? Right. Oh, Texas. that guy's still there tired of shit. still tired. He's so <laughs> fucking tired. He hasn't slept in weeks. He never stopped. He kept going. I mean, I bet you most of the country that most of the country that had Home Depot Depot hot dogs. Not all states had Home Depot hot dogs. You know really? that. Not all. I states never had do. it. In mine. Yeah, he never ever, even heard ever, of it. Never. Really? Okay, so it's dude. not even at no, all of them. Not at all. But the, I, I guarantee you, the states that had Home Depot hot dogs, I bet you most of them now have Home Depot hot dogs. Like I don't understand why you can't. You can go to freaking other fast food. Why can't you not have a Home Depot hot dog? Western. I can eat I six of those. No, because we were in no, Texas. We were in Texas in one sitting. Just oh sit down, gosh, eat yeah. six. They go. They slide down easy. Those glizzies slide right down. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're I, they're probably not even real hot dogs. Is no. why they're probably, probably like, fingernails of yeah, pigs. Who That's knows it. what they are? I think you they're know? boiled. Yeah, they're they are boiled mm. to the point where they're like so boiled that so they good. taste so good they melt in your mouth. They melt. <laughs> yeah, but they're the not, glizzy melts. But they're not exploded. No, no they're they not exploded. Explode. No, 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 no. Never honey, exploded. Honey, they're no. freshly pressed. That's Linda. because the water temperature is just at just that right, right lukewarm. Right. Those checkies got it going, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They got it going on. Uh, it. Chelsea says, hello, fam. I love the vlog what and up, podcast. Baby? You guys and gals always make me... Uh, Make me laugh. Uh, Good. Smile okay. and laugh. Sorry. Turning okay. 29 today and so happy oh, I well, get happy to see birthday. you on my happy, day. Happy big happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tomorrow or next year is the big one. Yeah, happy big birthday. day. Yeah, so used, la- enjoy your last years of the 20s. Yeah. I played <laughs> hockey with the McLeod. A McLeod. He was good. He was there good. used to be a, um, a private detective on TV named McLeod. Mm. Mm. I wonder what <laughs> that is, Irish or something? McLeod. Well, Mick, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. know. Wouldn't not MC sure. always be Irish? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Sure. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, regardless. Happy birthday. Shade says, hey, crew, just checking in. Lost a dog yesterday Aww. and watching hey, you guys Aww. takes away that pain. Can't wait for 3.0. Noah, I love the stage. Hey, thanks, man. Well, thank I you. appreciate it. I'm so sorry it. for your loss. Sorry for your loss, brother. I mean, that's Quit that's your tough, bitching, man. bro. It's, hasn't it been long enough? You said, oh, it was, said it was yesterday. Oh, I mean, gosh. come on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> gosh. No. That's it is That's tough. Terrible. I'm That's joking. Tough. He's a good guy. He complimented my mustache. I had to yeah. rip into him yeah, a little bit. Yeah, roast him a little bit. But yeah, no, I'm that sucks, man. I, uh, my condolences out for your dog. And, uh, yeah, speaking you know, of dogs. Cry. Listen, cry. Don't, yeah. don't yeah. hold in the emotion. Don't hold in the emotion. The best <laughs> way to get over things is to go through it. Yes. That's true. right. Go right through it. Yeah, I've been crying for years. No, you haven't. That's yeah. why you're still going through things. Yeah, maybe. No, I cried a lot this last year. <laughs> That's good. I, it's so important. It is important. Sometimes I was watching Cry something like the other bitch. night. What was I watching yeah. the other night? That's what I do all day. I was day. watching something. It, it was so heartwarming. It made me cry. Oh, I was reading Barack Obama's book. Oh. And his mother. It made you cry. Yes, his mother fucking died from cancer. Mm. And the way he wrote about it made me fucking cry. Dude, you roasted me three weeks ago for crying at some dumb shit on TV. And now you do it, bro? <laughs> Fuck you, man. But it's bullshit. I was crying because I was thinking about my own mother. I was uh, like, <laughs> that's what it's about. <laughs> I was crying because there was onions. What do you think I would be thinking of? Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was cutting onions for my hot dog. Speaking of hot dogs. <laughs> and yeah. it turns out, so it says no, uh, no hot dogs and Home Depot in New Jersey I by know. Costco makes them delicious. That is true. Mm. I've never seen one in New Jersey, so yeah. I don't know where he's at, but... I can no, it says no hot dogs in at Home Depot. No, it says no hot dogs. Yeah, no hot dogs. And Home Depot in New Jersey by Costco makes them delicious. Oh, gotcha. Well, so normally they do have them. They're delicious. Uh, but this no is Home hot Depot dogs right near now. Costco. Like there's only one well, Home listen, Depo near Costco. I know, I know which one he's talking about. You do? Yes, yeah, I do. There's there's that one. Oh, in White Plains, right? Yeah, yeah no, the it's one right, right off by the, Costco. Yeah, it's yeah. The, uh, that one Parkway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's exit uh, 8010. <laughs> the Home Depot, right by the Parkway. Right by the Parkway. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's exit 89. Yeah, there's that cheesesteak place right down the street. Oh, Gino's and Pass or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I I thought it was no Home Depot hot dogs, but Costco dogs that's, are good. That's, that's, what, I I too. that's what I thought too. That's what I thought too. But and honestly, dissecting it, we understood more. <laughs> I don't mind the Costco dog. It's definitely different. It's a it's They're, more sausage. It's yeah, sausage. it's big. It's like, it's it's like it's a, a big dog. Sausage. No, Boy, it's just like a, African. I'm not. Like I'm not big on yeah. the big dogs, it's man. That BBC. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ, double hand him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not big on, I'm not big on that stuff. <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> That's it. I think with that being said, we should oh, end. No. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, there's a podcast tomorrow, 4 20 p.m. I got a special guest, Nick Ford. So if you're <gasps> interested in watching that, please, please tune in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Snake Talk on Saturday. Saturday, yep, Eastern Standard this Time. This week, and then next week we have a, a special guest on. Special guest. So stay tuned for that surprise. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have been tuned in, and we are checking out. Peace. See you guys. Have a good night. I Thank you guys. I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs>